Hey, Maria. Hey, Craig. Hey, Dee Dee. Yes, I'm live. I figured I've been sleeping all day and crying all day, so might as well do something fun. So here I am. Um, <clears throat> yeah. Hey, Apple Blonde. It looks like there's a lot of us nice, a lot of night owls out here. I didn't expect to see so many people at 10 o'clock. Well, for here, it's 10 o'clock, uh, almost 10 o'clock Central Standard Time in Texas. And, um, yeah, it's been one of those um, rough days. So I have not decided whether or not I'm going to work tomorrow. Um, James will be going to work tomorrow. He has too many meetings. He can't just take a day off. I can take a day off. I don't have any meetings. And um, the world can go to hell in the handbasket i'm okay with that <laughs> so um we took our little watson our pug hey watson he's too tired he's like i, I can't move I'm, I'm sleepy um out for a car drive today we just got back from a car drive because we've been sleeping all afternoon and and hey um brian um yes i know it's late people are probably going to sleep uh but um watson adores car rides like adores car rides lives for them we used to go on them all the time but milo did not so because milo didn't like car rides we didn't do them and now um now we can so we are hey miss jelly i'm um, going to show you my bag today I switched into this one. Um, isn't this? It's, I know I, unba I unboxed it the other day with you guys, and it's so cool. It might be one of my favorite bags. It's and it's because it's an embroidered Mickey Mouse. It's not a. It's not um, a screen printing. It's an embroidery, and I love embroidery, even machine embroidery. I love it. So this bag is really fun. I really like using it. Um, came in handy made me feel better i'm in my it's fine i'm fine everything's fine t-shirt because it's not fine so we wear this t-shirt um wanted to do some um oh, i wanted to show you what i was working on yesterday <laughs> do you see this um so i glued i glued the edges and i use paper um clothes pins as clamps to make sure that the um it all this all the um leather stays together you know so anyway that's what i was doing yesterday and i just let it dry overnight and some of the glue this is not the best glue for this but it will work and i did look at that glue that you sent me craig and i think i'm gonna definitely get some of that so Everyone's going to ask how we're doing. Not well. Not even remotely well. Cried more than I have cried in my life. I think I cried more for Milo than I did for my own father. Um, just, you know, because... Anyway, I'm trying to talk about this now so that tomorrow when if I do go to the office and everybody asks me, I don't just start crying there. Um, I don't know if I'm going to work tomorrow. I really don't. Um, I'm kind of the coward in me wants James to go to work and me not to go to work because then he'll tell everybody and then I just go to work on Thursday like nothing ever happened. <laughs> I know it's not nice. Yeah, you know, we should be on this together. But I'm like at the same time, part of me is like, well, if he goes and everybody knows because they know how much we love our dogs, guys. Um, thank you everyone who came to love wasn't craig's live fun i loved it and i didn't okay so i'm also on one and well i'm not on which is an ozempic like drug but not ozempic itself so my symptoms are different so it was really interesting to hear about um winnie and craig's experiences so i really want to i really want winnie to do the uh weight loss wednesdays or whatever she wants to call it because i want to know how her journey is going on this compounded medication because i really haven't lost that much weight i've lost 20 pounds and i've been on monjaro for like a year but i have really bad diabetes type 2 and a very dumb pancreas um so I'm kind of at the end of modern medicine's miracle, you know. Um, Maria says, sorry, I missed the live with Winnie. Oh, the replay is fantastic. It's over an hour, too. Um, um, 
Yeah, Craig and Winnie had really good good energy. I think they balanced. I think Craig's energy balanced out Winnie because Winnie and like when you see Winnie and Ed, they kind of go like BFS crazy stupid funny. But I think with Craig and Winnie, it was actually really enjoyable and very entertaining. But then I'm incredibly biased. <laughs> I think Craig's pretty perfect, and Winnie's one of my best friends. So, you know, um, she took the sh shot tonight after. Oh, she did? Oh, dear. She took that. Oh, dear. So we'll have to see. Um, I've never actually taken a B12 shot, but if it helps, I'd take one. Um, it's fun for me anyway. I think we had a very good chemistry hugs. Um take time to grieve do what you need yeah so sometimes the thing is i'm a workaholic and sometimes work is the best thing for me but also it's a way for me to not deal with my grief i don't know if you can tell the red puffy eyes but they're there um let's see great live craig it was fun let me see she took the shot that night great so happy yes yeah. hey zena um, Joy, hey Joy, hey Jackie, Dee Dee, uh, Julia, Maria, Robin, Burke and Boy, Apple Blonde, Br uh, you're saying about everybody. 11 a.m. in Singapore. Well, it's, it's, it's 10 p.m. in Texas. That's cool. Monica, let's see. We're saying hi to everybody. Um, Luxational. Hey, Luxational. Yeah, so I just pulled off all the clamps on this, and I'm going to, there's a little bit of, um, it's not the best adhesive to use for this, so. I have to do some cleanup on the glue. It dries clear, but you can still see it. And I only just did that so it stopped splitting the leather. And then I'm going to sand it again. And then I'm going to get some the right tools. And then I'm going to do an edge coat. And then we will be done with the saga of this cool bag. I love this bag. I really do. This is one of those. Look at how pretty it's turned out with all the I, I finished doing all the buffing on it and i use another brush on it and so this is completely moisturized about to the nth degree the only thing i don't have um i want to get some sheep's wool with lanolin still in it and then you use that to buff oh be perfect but you know <laughs> I just have fun playing with my bags, guys. I have fun restoring them. I have fun using them. I have fun buying them. I don't have fun trying to figure out where to put them. That can be... I really want another burrow bag. <laughs> um, Jackie, I was thinking about a reed carcass bag you're working on. Why not use fold over leather like the black one? So no, I just... I have no idea why they did that. I have no clue. Only thing you can think of is with... Why they did that was because, hey, Winnie, um, yeah, I'm doing okay. How are you? <laughs> I wish we um, tell us how you're doing with this medication because I'm on Manjaro, which is different than the Ozempic that Craig's taking. So my symptoms are different. So I've been on Manjaro for like a year, and and Winnie, I am all for your weight loss Wednesdays, like Wednesdays. Tell me your trials, tribulations, experiences. Uh, catalog um because i need to lose weight my, i'm at that very end of what modern medicine can do for my diabetes um the stars at night are big and bright hey frozen luxury hey well behave wallet no i mean why don't you do that instead oh because um to do that honestly to do that i'd have to unstitch the baggage because I'd have to be able to get enough uh, to fold over and then to restitch, and I don't actually have the right machinery for that. And then to do it by hand would a little bit more advanced than I want to try um, with that bag. I will do it someday. I do plan. Um, it's just I haven't um, tried. <laughs> um yeah yeah Winnie we were just saying that you and Craig have a great chemistry you did really great on um your live and we're gonna go live on Friday hopefully everything but on Friday our live is gonna be all things pretty much um Ralph Lauren because well maybe we could do read also but I love I have actually a couple read bags that should be showing up on Friday um if my mail is correct I also have a bag to open up 
and I really want to open it, but I'm trying not to because I need to do an actually dedicated video to it, not a live, because it is a sponsorship, and I'm super excited to get it, and I really want to do it justice and link everybody's channels that have done also sponsorships with this creator, and then... um it's and I'm already planning on the next bag I'm going to purchase um, because she she did a brand new collection since she's done all these sponsorships and um, I'm definitely well maybe I should just open them and do a video without an actual first impressions. You know, that's what I should do. I'm going to open them on the live, and then I'll use them, and then I'll actually do a video with me having used them versus just the first impressions. Um, okay. So this is the box. Um, because all a lot of my videos are first impressions, but I think with this bag, most of the reviews out there have been first impressions. So I think this might be a better um, review and for the sponsorship if I do, um, hey, this is what it's like. So one of these bags was gifted and one of these bags was purchased. So as soon as we came to a, um, a consensus of what bag she was going to gift me to use as a promotional, hey, Lisa, I went ahead and bought one. Uh, as soon as as soon as soon we, um, so it comes in a box about this big and this shipped from Hong Kong, guys. Oh, I'm having Craig back. I'm going to get him to show me a little. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Good <laughs> baby steps. We'll get him. We'll get him on the YouTube one way or the other. Either he's going to be a guest with everybody or he's going to be <laughs> get his own channel eventually. <laughs> so there's two bags in here. This is one bag. This is the one I purchased. So this is the purchase bag. Oh, this is very tiny. This is much smaller than I wanted it to be. I actually asked how long the strap was, and this is not... I'm actually really happy I didn't do this as a as a first impressions, because this deserves a better first impression than this. I misunderstood the measurements. This is the one I purchased this bag. This is the one I purchased. Now, I think this bag is beautiful. Um... But I also thought this bag was going to be in green. So I'm kind of surprised it's in white. Um, let me see the other one. Here's this. Well, this one I knew. This is the promotional item. Um, it's tiny but cute. Yeah, right? That picture is a screensaver now. <laughs> um, oh, yes. I told Travis. He said it was okay. <laughs> Um, so this, though, yeah, a good thing I am going to be talking to you about this on a video and not just my first impressions, because this is a very beautiful bag that deserves a better first impression than what I would give it based on how it got here shipped because of the shipping and how it got a little deflated. So this is a, um, handmade, now y'all have seen Na Naomi Crafted, right? Um, so she did a promotional with Jesse Styles, Dee Dee Bean, Ray L, I think AKB bags. I'm not sure. Don't quote me. Um, she did one with Winnie B. So I asked her if she would do one with me. And this is the one she gifted me. This is the bag she gifted me. So this bag normally is, I think, a $500 bag on her, four to $500, somewhere around there. So this you can tell. So some of the differences in this bag that I can tell from my other bags is the stitch length and the stitching is a little longer gauge, right? So it's not as fine of a stitch. It's still perfect. These are still beautifully stitched, but it's a longer stitch length. This is the Gucci dust bag. Now, I've never seen a Gucci dust bag. I don't know. These are upcrafted dust bags, but I really love the Tiger. Um I did one too. Oh, Maria did one too. Yay. And um, so I'm going to link everybody um, when I do an actual video review. So I'm going to use this one. And then it comes with an organizer in it. Okay. So this is where you can really tell. It's all in the details, right? The finished details. So you can see how you can see a little bit of the liner. 
or the actual the fabric from the dust bag. So this is how you can tell um, it's handcrafted. So the hardware goes in here, and then it's there's a um, a leather patch on uh, adhered to here. That's common. So a lot of bags are constructed like this, but then they have another liner in them, and that's why you really don't see bags that don't have um, liners in them anymore it's not just the right the back side of the leather so this is just so this is leather that has had this fabric probably adhered to it with a spray adhesive and this is just fabric guys so you probably want to use a color carbon pro or apple guard or something on this this is beautifully made the these are the feet are covered now these feet you can purchase and again on the inside i can feel it that these are just um it's hardware that they go through a hole in the leather and then they screw it on so that the feet are it's not it's not rocket science okay hardware is hardware the piping is beautifully done absolutely beautifully done i wish more bags did this this bag is this bag is beautifully done the it is a lightweight it's not very heavy um the leather gauge it's okay i wonder if oh that's interesting that's see this is very interesting now this is a finishing detail now i don't know if this is intentional forgotten because she did have to rush to do this but um there is a stitch there is a pre um perforated line here no thread so I think I'm going to guess that this is a patterned set where it is pre the holes are pre-punched and this might actually be hand saddle stitched for her to, to do these. These are handmade by her. So I thought they would be done in a production environment, but she was saying that she does it's a small business. I think these are literally hand stitched by her and they're done with saddle stitch. The only difference between this and um other bags, commercially made bags truly is um it doesn't have a liner and it's it's a thinner leather. Also um, like these grommets, see they're easily placed. This is not something again, you have I can put grommets in bags. This is this is very nicely done. Um for something that's a small business, this is really nicely done. Now I don't like the hardware, guys. I will be bluntly honest. The hardware is not good for me. Um this is the only um part that I think is is a downfall for this particular bag um and i'm gonna have to do a review and i'm going to use this bag and unfortunately i'm not gonna have to, i can't say i love her hardware choices but i love this bag i love the um i love the concept I love the fact that this is an upcycled, we took an item that's really pretty, and um, we made it something useful out of it, which I think is just brilliant. And because she has an insert in here, it doesn't matter about the finished details in here, in the bag. And it's really nice. It's actually a very well-made insert. The insert is, is canvas. Um, thank you, Linda S., um, you have to be, um, I love that you're being, oh yeah, I'm hundred percent honest. I mean, this is, this is something that's like $400. Now, if I'm telling somebody to go buy something that's $400, I want you to feel like it's worth $400 and honest, I would be disappointed at $400 for this bag. Um, at $200, hundred percent. Okay. At $400, I'm a little upset with the hardware but that's but if this bag didn't have the hardware if it didn't have this type of hardware on here i would love this bag so it's a me problem not a bag problem um now now this contrasting this hardware this hardware is perfect um and this is is still an inexpensive hardware guys it's still like not even this is not metal if it is metal it's a very inexpensive metal um but this is so when i asked her the strap length for this bag 
I thought she said 13 inches for the drop length. Um, let's take a look. Where's my measuring tape? Wait, Rich, Rich looks broken because it says $75. So this is a seven inch drop. So that makes sense that when she was giving me measurements, she's giving me the entire length of this versus what I really needed. I thought she said, when I asked for it, I thought it was a 13 inch drop. So I thought this was a lot larger of a bag than it actually is. Okay. Hey, Yoda. Um, so this is an eight inch bag by a five inch here with a seven inch drop so this is a cute bag this is an adorable bag as an, a 40 year old person who i mean essentially this is this is a hobo bag i don't know who can carry this other than a five-year-old um the design of this bag style i think this one's made a little bit better in my opinion the quality of this leather is a little bit better than the one that's green there's it's a little bit of a different type of leather you know, so these this is actually cow leather. I did ask, and you can tell that this is this is made a little bit differently. I do like the way this one is stitched better, but if you're really about fine details, these bags might drive you a bit crazy. Now they don't drive me nuts. I like them. I think the stitch gauge is a little too long, but then I think it's because these are hand saddle stitched. Uh, do you think the handle straps not seem off in scale? Um, I think I think this whole thing is proportionately incorrect when it comes to a, this bag should never have been done as the Gucci Jackie style, which is why I bought it with this type because it's almost useless. This is literally almost useless. This is an upcycle brand by Naomi Crafted. This is my first impression. So I'm going to be doing another video. This is partial sponsored. So this bag I purchased myself and I think it was around $200. I got it with a 20% off coupon. They have a 20% off coupon right now. I like the bag. I'm happy with the $200 I spent. As I said, I think $200 is a good price point. Um, yes, $200 is a lot of money but this is handmade this is handmade this is an upcycled um gucci uh, dust bag i like the tiger um i like the gucci tiger i'm never going to be able to buy a gucci bag um yeah this is 200 dollars frozen luxury this is a gucci upcycled gucci dust bag in a hand crafted it's naomi's handcrafted is the name of the company she made this and i am very positive that this is i'm almost I'm, i'll text her and ask her but i do believe these are hand settle stitched i do not think this is a machine stitched um it's very consistent and very well done but it's it just has that vibe of hand crafted and i know this because i have a couple other bags that are handcrafted and this is it's made very well it's made very well i like this one very very much um she's in the chats who's in the chats um hi oh, naomi are you in here naomi did you make yes naomi did you make this did you hand saddle stitch these um because hey Jolie, you're here too. How did your surgery go? I'm so happy to hear from you. Um, yeah, so we're talking about this bag. This is the the Gucci. Um, we're kind of I didn't expect it to be so small, but that's my fault for not looking at measurements. Um it's it's tiny, but it's cute. I don't know how I'm gonna actually functionally use this because of the way the handle is. It's not for me. I'm a I'm a large person. This is not really an arm bag. Um, it's not really a hand carry because of the way it doesn't have a no way to really secure things in here. Like this would have been better as a zipper top pouch almost because um I'm just too big of a person to have such a tiny bag. Um let me see. Hi, Naomi. It is morning, so I can't sleep. <laughs> um, 
going to catch up on some of the chats. I ordered the garden tote from Naomi. Oh, you did! Linda S., I'm so excited that you ordered the garden tote! Um, so, and then I have, of course, we have this one. This one's the sponsored one. This is the sponsored bag. And we love it. But Naomi, I'm, I'm not going to lie. Your hardware is not the best hardware. I'm a little disappointed with the hardware. But other than the hardware, I think this bag is amazing it is very beautiful and i'm gonna do an actual review review i'm gonna use these this bag particularly because this bag i can actually use as a bag this one this one is gonna be um i'm gonna not lie this is probably gonna end up with my niece she's 10 and um yes it's a 200 dollars bag for my niece but my sister has five cats they love cats in that household and when I saw the tigers, I knew that one of these bags would end up with my sister anyway. So this one's not going to go anywhere. I love this one. Um, I love I love them both, actually, let's be honest. I like, well, it's hard not to like a Gucci tiger. I think the Gucci tiger's pretty cool. Um, let me see. I'm looking. Is anyone going live on Thursday night? Frozen Luxury, you are Saya. <laughs> I'm just here going live because I slept all day long, guys. And um, I'm just, this is not planned. This is completely unplanned. I wanted to show these bags off because I got them today. And then I'm going to use them and I'm going to work on doing a video. And I'm going to link everybody who has done a, a review with uh, Naomi because um, she's had so many products being shown. I want people to see the variety. So James Jam did this bag too. But then Raelle did the Dior bag, and I think Winnie had the Dior bag also, and I think Jesse Styles only had the Hermes. So I think the only ones we haven't really seen from Naomi is the um, LV or Chanel. But I want to buy one of her silk ones. Um, she has a new line out, guys. It's her. Um, let me see if I can put her. Um, website up because i was just looking on there today there's a, a bag i want to order and it's brand new different style it's in the um kind of like the alma shape a dome shape so here we go this is really cute i need to let it hang with a little bit of weight to get this um oops what did i do to get the straps to Adjust a bit. <laughs> Remember, we sent each other our. Oh my goodness, Winnie. Um, Winnie. So I'm going at three. Oh, so yeah. We, oh, you're going at three to 4 p.m. ish. Then Caleb in the evening. Caleb going to going live tomorrow? D? I feel like I'm missing something. Let me see if I can get Naomi. Naomi, oh, actually, she can't do it. I have to do it because of YouTube issues. I'm going to, I'll be right back. Uh, you'll see me, but my face will be. Um... There we go. Let me see if I can. This is this will be good test for me. I want to see if I can show you. Copy. I'm gonna paste this into. I've never actually put a chat in here before. I think, and I'm going to put. No, nope. I don't think I can. I can star it. Let's see. Did that work? Can you see the? There we go. Oh my God, thanks to my mods tonight. Saya, I won't kick you, but Craig might you feel the animals. <laughs> Nancy, who's Nancy? Which Nancy? I missed a Nancy coming. Oh, Nancy, hey, Nancy. Uh, Naomi, um, caught Caleb, was it going live? Yeah, I didn't think Caleb was going live till later either, Dee Dee. Um, oh my God, thanks to mods. Nancy, I missed the live because, Lord, I can't keep up. Jackie, I have a much better link and promo code. You do? Hmm? Just knows we're live. Just knows we were, you were live. Huh. 
Wait, Nancy, I just opened the box. Just opened what box? Sorry, chats, I scheduled my live, so I'm off. Um, let me see if I can show you on here what I want to buy next from her, because I really want this bag. Um, I love everything from this. this um, let me see if I can... Let's see if I can share my screen. I don't know. I've never tried this before. Picture in picture. Hmm. I don't know if I know how to. I'm going to have to play with this studio new layout anyway wait you have a promo code with Naomi that's so cool just open the box when he chats if you look at the link I put in the description or in the chats there's a new line she did and it's called um Whimsical, what's it called? Mm. Under catalog, Silk Whims collection. And there is a Kaleidoscope Elegance. Um, there's this beautiful bag in there. I totally want this bag. <laughs> I totally want this bag. Um, so in her designer, in her designer dust bag collections, if you look at the Gucci, the one I got. See, it looks so much bigger in photos. Let me see the details. I'm not good with details, and sometimes I don't read details. See, for me, this bag's just too tiny. It literally is just too small. But other than that, it's... See, on her, it's like, it looks so nice on this nice person in the photos. I, I am... A giant compared to this person in the photos. <laughs> Let me go back to the chats. Um, I just, uh, everyone thumbs up live. Winnie, I think I used your promo. I shared yet. I opened to make sure it's okay, but ran out of plate for tomorrow. Yes. Um, do, 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 do. Let me see if I can star that. So when I star the um, chats, does it show up differently for you guys? I didn't start shared yet. I opened to make sure. Um, when you I think you use a premium. Okay. I need a garden bag in 30, right? I want the 30. Yeah, the bigger size garden bag. Totally. Um, GD, you are a marathon. Living. <laughs> She's doing March Madness. Um, the denim collection. I want Naomi's. Did you see her denim 22 um, Chanel? That one's pretty dang phenomenal. I thought that was pretty phenomenal. I love the Garden 30. Nancy, yeah. Um, thank you. Yeah, I love this bag, though, because, guys, I don't have a Gucci, and I love the fact that this is a Gucci in the Birkin style. <laughs> I really like this. Let me show you the length and measurements of this, guys. Um, so this is just under 10 inches, just about 10 inches from side to side, and then the width is just around five inches and it is seven and a half inches in height so ten by seven and a half the handle drop is right at four and a half so this is a for me a good size bag now for craig this would not work for him at all this would be so tiny <laughs> this would not work for Craig at all. I love this bag. And with these little grommets on the side, you can actually put a crossbody if you wanted to. I do not want to. I will use this as it is. I think this is beautiful. It's very soft. 
too. I like I like how soft it is, but I really love um, the Gucci tiger print. Now, again, I've never seen a Gucci dust bag. I've never owned a Gucci. Um, well, I have, okay, my very, very first designer bag, my very first purse I ever owned was a Gucci bag, but it, my mother gave it to me. Um, so I don't, rem it, if it had dust bag, I don't know where it went. Um, so this has gold. I think there's plastic on this, or is it just a little bit? Yeah, I think there's a, a sticker. A protective sticker on this. I'm peeling it off right now so that you can get the full effect of this. There we go. Let me take off the tab sticker too. Let's see. Um, why am I letting I'm getting nauseous? Thing. No. Yeah, see, see, Winnie, the thing about the Ozempic, and I'm on Monjaro, so the nausea, that's a very common side effect. It's not the one I have unless I'm super eat something that really disagrees with me. But um I don't get nausea. It, when I do it, to me it feels almost like seasickness, like you're just nauseous um but you're not really going to be ill but you feel like you're going to be ill but you're not ill and you don't eat anything like you have nothing to eat and you feel ill now that doesn't that side effect for me isn't actually the worst side effect that side effect goes away for me um apparently talking to craig it doesn't for him so um <laughs> Yeah. Um, um well I think it depends on her stock. Like how many of the she made this as I when I ordered it. So I ordered this a while ago, but she had to make it, you know. Um, so as long as she can get dust bags, she can make these. And I really would like to try her Louis Vuitton ones. Um, so yeah, I am looking at one, another one of her bags. But Zempic is always feeling it. Oh. Um, <laughs> but for me, at least you're not feeling, you're, I mean, for me, I just don't feel hungry. I still eat socially and I still do eat. And unfortunately, I think my body's just weird. Like all the side effects that other people get, I'm like, I don't, I don't get that. Um, did you do go live on my live? How long did I take a special order? Um, I don't know when I ordered this, but again, I guess it depends on her workload. Let me see if I look at my orders. Um, ooh, she has a really cool post on Instagram showing her um, her 22. This is the pattern she's doing with the denim. Um, she's doing the patchwork. And what it will look like is that. And that's what I want. I really want that when it doesn't have um, any type of emblems. I just want the look. Okay, let me see. I have her... When did I order this? There we go. So I think I ordered this. February 12th ish, and it's March 12th ish, so a month. It took a month for this one to be created and shipped. Um, I think that was just because she had a lot more to do. She was working on a new collection as well, and uh, she had to make this. Um, wait, is it on Instagram? Uh, her, um, her. She has an Instagram profile, which is the best way to talk to her. Um, but she has a website, too. So I ordered it through the website. And uh, she did the promotional item. So this is partially sponsored. This is a sponsored item, guys. And um, so she gifted me this along. James Jam has the same bag, too. And I'll be doing a, a whole other, another dedicated video actually reviewing it after I use the bag. Um, because this, this needs a showcase. This is really beautiful. Um, so I would definitely go with the bigger bag versus the smaller 
uh, Gucci bag. This one, I love this concept. It's just so tiny. I'm I'm too big of a person to have a bag that's small, and, and I can do small bags, guys. This is just too small, you know. Um, and that's the one I purchased. So I purchased that one, and I was gifted this one, and I'm gonna probably buy another one because I really, really, really liked her her new collection she just created, and I'm all about supporting um, small businesses and she's put a lot of investment into getting her business out on youtube because she has um she's done a lot of sponsorships with a lot of of youtubers so it's nice to support and have it worth her while by you know contributing and buying from her company um because it is a small business anyway hey she yeah she's um this is this bag's pretty dang cool so i I will be working on another video to show this. Now, guys, I have videos scheduled out daily till I just moved everything in my schedule. So you're going to get daily videos all the way up until end of March, April, April, all the way up to the end of April. So when I do another video for this, it will be double videos. You're going to have videos. You're going to have lives. I just, I didn't like the lag between when I had filmed a lot of this stuff and when it was coming out. It was so far behind my current life that I felt like it was just too far behind. And um, so I wanted to be able to get closer up to current it just seems so weird with the people watching and, and like the content i was talking about it's gonna kill me but there's gonna be some videos that go live that you'll probably see milo in and milo's no longer with us and that's gonna be rough for me because milo was very much very photogenic and very much a part of this channel so um i'm walking I'm a walking pharmacy right now. Saya, so, so am I. So am I. Um, how interesting. When you never invited me. Yes, I have you on my mind. I can do yours. Instagram you. Um, I'm glad you're doing every day. Oh, yeah. I think everybody is. That has actually been the consensus is that people liked my everyday content. I just was about to say you have many Milo moments to remember. Yeah, I do. I, I am lucky enough to have him in, in several videos. And I actually have a couple shorts with just him. And, and, and I'll be honest, Mr. Watson's going to enjoy being the only puppy for a bit because he is, he's going to go back to his normal spoiled self. But he will... We will have to find him another companion at some point. Just not anytime soon, guys. Um, yeah, Dreamcatcher, it happened today. It happened today. Um, he had an end, end stage kidney failure. And we knew he was in kidney failure, but we didn't think it was that fast. Like, the only thing our doctor could have done is put him on fluids. And then for 24 hours in, in the clinic. And then hopefully he would be... Mm, Sorry, distracted. Hopefully his numbers would come down after they did 24 hours of fluids. But if his numbers did come down, then the same end result. There's nothing you can do for end-stage kidney failure. Um, and his body, had he had anemia because his body wasn't able to produce enough blood. And that's why he was feeling so bad. That's why he was sleeping so much. That's why we had noticed changes, but we were hoping it was just allergies because he has allergies. And... Um, she can make custom if we send a dust bag. I have done Dior ones. I like to read. That's pretty dang cool. Yeah, I had talked to Naomi about doing a custom um, bag for me. I have some Thai silk I wanted to send her, but I am. Um, I really like the bag, the the one she has on her right now because she's in she's in Hong Kong, guys. Naomi's in Hong Kong. I'm. Thai, Irish American Thai Chinese. My mother is one quarter Chinese. Um, so to me, I really love her silk collection. Her and, and her, I think her silk collection is pretty dang gorgeous. I'm going to have to pay a little bit more attention to dimensions because I want a larger bag. Um, if I said you have a beautiful, <laughs> I'm so glad you have a senior dog and loving yeah well see Dreamcatcher. we knew when we got milo he was a senior um he was a um 
rescue. He was owner surrendered to the to the shelter and it was an animal rescue it wasn't a shelter but he um he had high medical issues a lot so we knew when we got him he was an expensive dog he literally is the most expensive dog we have ever had um medically wise he's and he has such a great disposition maria right the naomi silk bag collection oh my gosh i am in love i can't i'm gonna buy one i seriously i'm gonna buy one we've talked about it um i just need to send um money to go get it but oh my gosh her silk i cannot wait to get the silk collection i think her silk collection is more stunning than her upcycle and it's the same concept it's using textiles that already exist in the world and then using them in a way that can be functional again you know because not every textile is perfect all the time you know i'm sorry the good thing is you had those memories yes with milo and and the thing is so like with milo he's a great dane great dane's life expense expectancy is eight to ten years the only ones that live to be 12 are ones that are owned by vets that literally the only ones i've lived to be i've seen live 12 and my our milo was a recessive gene dog so uh, all the mold colored dogs are recessive genes so the healthier dogs are actually all black ones the the traditional fawn ones those ones are healthier great dames so it does depend on the breed breeders of the breed um yep jackie is truly gorgeous i want one this color yeah so maria so um when he has the promo code I, it should be starred in the chat so you should be able to find it um to behave in chat but winnie is after me yoda winnie is a menace in the chat you can't she's actually much better in her actual lives than in the chats and the chats she just likes to yep she's she's all over it her, when you get winnie and dawn in the chats just it's all over it's all over guys it's like it it ends <laughs> Yoda, Winnie and Yoda's love language. So anyway, I have another unboxing because I want to open the bag. It's just the Timu haul, but I don't want to film another video. I just want to open it, so I'm going to open it with you guys. Yay! So I have... Um... Oh, I'm... I'm... If y'all... Um, I think I posted it on my Facebook, so not everybody's gonna see because my Facebook isn't isn't public, but my Instagram is. But if y'all follow Coach, you know how I'm, I'm mad at Coach. Well, I'm mad at Coach. Coach came out with the Kara bag um, last summer, and I have it in pool blue, which was a last summer color. Well, that was a boutique drop, guys. Guess who came out with an outlet bag called the Georgia that looks so much like the Kara. The shape is a little bit different, not by much. And it's almost the same color, but now they're calling it cornflower blue. And I'm like, mm-hmm, coach, I see what you're doing. So guarantee you, everybody buying, and, and I know, y'all, there's a lot of people in here. Um, oh, I did delete the app, Miss Jelly. I need to delete the app. I didn't delete the app. James is lamenting I haven't deleted the app. But I still have one. This is my last order that I have purchased. I have one more potential order, and then I'm going to be done until Christmas. Because, unfortunately, I get some of the best Christmas stuff out of there. They're, they have a lot of stuff from Sanrio, um, direct from Sanrio. Um, and that's what my niece likes right now um let's see but anyway the first thing i'm going to show you guys i bought for me not my niece i bought it for me guys <laughs> i know you're like are you five no 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 i just love i love disney i love bears i love mickey and minnie and i adore panda bears I Door panda bears spill my coach drama in in Dini's life. Well, yeah, yes, I heard that, Saya. So my thing with coach is so so Saya. If you look up the Cara Cara satchel and compare it to the Georgia satchel, which is now an outlet only bag, um, I'll send you the photos. You don't even have to. I'll send you the photos right now. Um, you can see what they've done. What they and they're going to do this. They're going to do this with the denim drop too. With the denim drop that everybody loves. Um, 
lucky chicks. Woohoo! Um, let me see. When I go to Frozen Witchery, let me send you the photos, Saya, and I'll show you. I'll show everybody here on um on here. I need to figure out how to do picture in picture, or at least show what's in my screen on on um the live. I haven't figured that out yet. I'm not sure if that's a. So this is the carrot Kara tote, guys. This is the car tote that I have. This in this color. Um, Craig has this in orange, and I got the orange one from Luxational. Um, and we trade it. And this is called the Georgia Satchel. Now, this is a made for outlet only bag. This is the Georgia Satchel. That is the Cara Satchel. This is made for boutique. They are so similar. There's a little bit of differences. They're not the exact same bag, but the vibe, the feel of it is so similar. And here's the thing this bag starts off at 160. The Cara bag on sale is 160. On sale now, it's on like super clearance at the. Th it's actually at the reserve section. Um, what did I miss? The C Panda. Um, what did I miss? Craig saying. My husband got me a, a solid blue stuffed bunny for my birthday. Oh my gosh, that's so cute! I need a picture of that, Craig. I need a picture of the bunny. Um, I promise I won't share it. I just need the picture because um, I didn't realize how I had a bag from UV. Yeah, yeah, Craig. I got I got the orange bag from Luxational. We traded. I traded a Coach Cassie. The original Cassie, and she gave me the coach Kara, and then it was that bright orange bag. So now, um, that bag is with Craig because it was orange. Um, Miss Jelly, nope, yeah, very, very close bags, identical color. Yes, yeah, the thing is, the color for the Kara bag was called pool blue, the Kara for the Georgia bag is called cornflower blue blue um it, it's so frustrating i get so mad at coach and they keep doing this and i'm like why do i keep letting them do this i love the outlet bag i know and that's my problem it's like i really honestly i live next to the outlet so i can drive 30 minutes to an outlet or an hour to the boutique so i go to the outlet i like the outlet bags but i feel like but they launch the boutique bags first and then in 10 months they'll launch it something similar to it almost identical to it at the outlet and if you're now that i'm on youtube i see what's on, out at the boutique and i'm like okay well i want that bag so i spend the money for that bag and then 10 months later they do it at the outlet i guarantee you they're going to be a denim drop at the at the um at the outlet in about right before christmas because this denim drop's been so popular they'll do it in all the outlet style bags so i I went crazy, guys. I went bold. I went bold. I went bold. This is what I love about Timu. This is why I can still want to keep buying from Timu. I went... Okay, I might have to stitch up the top the top of this a bit because that, that is that is really um, an open... That, that's really open, guys. We're going to have to stitch this close. That's, that's not going to fly here. <laughs> that's a little too open. <laughs> but look at the colors! I love this yellow and this blue. Oh my gosh. Um waiting for that outlet version. Oh yeah, you you dang you dang straight. And you know what the outlet version of the tabby's called? The Morgan. And it has been called the Morgan. And they're just gonna come out with another version of the Morgan and they're gonna call it the Tabby. You know? Well, it's gonna be their version of the Tabby. Uh didn't coach announce denim drop for outlet. Or am I crazy? They haven't announced it yet, but I'm sure. I mean, I haven't seen the announcement for the outlet, but I'm. They did a de they did a black denim for the outlet just a month or two ago. Um, Dreamcatcher, lock it up. <laughs> so this is what did I buy? I'm not sure. I like this fabric. Um, hey, Sandy. Yeah, that print's gorgeous, right? So this is a this is I was not expecting this fabric, honestly. This is this will be interesting. This is a knit. This is a like a jersey knit. But I like this one a lot. I love this um detailing of this trim. That's beautiful. So this is in one of their 
I buy a lot of my dresses out of their ethnic section because these are actually made for the um, modest market for the Malaysian, not Malaysian, um, Muslim. I always say it wrong. Southeast Asia has a huge Muslim population, and they have, and these dresses are actually called abaya dresses. This smells strange. That one needs to be laundered for sure. Um, oh, weird. It has a cool tag on it. Now, I've never seen one like this before. I, this might be a first one from this vendor. It says chic plus size fashion since 2022. And it's called Curve, Curve Soul. The, hmm. I'll have to look up this vendor again. That's an interesting. That's very interesting. And then. They're already moved the older tabbies to on the outlet website, same price, but one outlet, outlet, whoops. wait, what? The older tabbies on the outlet website? Okay, so Winnie, that basket bag behind me is not a little wavy bag. It is a, cra it, no, sorry, it's not Craig. It is a, it was gifted to me by um, Lisa for Lisa's Love's Le uh, Luxury Life in the Middle. She had it on her, on her, um, on her um channel and she showed it to me and or she showed everybody and i said i loved it and she said she didn't she didn't use it and she sent it to me so she sent it to me yeah mossy dress is a good idea so it's, it's a it's a that's what i look for when i go to timu um i the green on that dress is just amazing um yeah so i just love them and they're just called uh, abaya modesty dresses they're made for the um uh, muslim market but they work so well on me for office wear that they're long i don't have to worry because all the and this is this is for my friend well it's not for my friend it's because of my friend linda passos she always likes me in white and black so i figured i would try a different print look at this cool sleeve um and it has like an empire waist little ruffle so we'll see how these work these dresses are polyester but they work really 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 well with me in um in my office environment because the coolest place in texas is an office building um yeah you'll carry it for summer sure yeah she gave it to me um because she had two and she didn't need that smaller one and the smaller one she had um i think it was a what was the name of that brand? Kirk Geiger basket bag. And this one was her Amazon um, basket bag. So she she gifted me that one. And I use it um, for my um, project, one of my project bags. It's perfect. Um, I bought five skirts for 20 bucks on Etsy to turn into yard work outfits in heat this summer. That's pretty cool. And so I needed a new cable. This is a charging cable. Um, I think I need this for my office. Um, I keep what well, I'm very, I'm really hard on these. I drop them a lot and you would, this is what's so weird. I don't know if this is anybody else, but I didn't break micro USB, but the C cables, I have gone through so many C cables. Um, oh, Keith, Keith, hey, Keith. It's a surprise live. Um, I'm trying to catch up on some of the, I've some of the chats. I think it's a bag you never heard of. Hi, Craig. Wait a minute. Yes, the basket bag behind me is a off off knockoff. Um, let's see. I found my favorite coach bag from 2013 on eBay. It's brand new condition, resort turn lock, metallic tote. Wow. That's cool, my um, dream catcher. That isn't that fun to find bags you wanted. Oh yeah, those are the best. Um, I love buying. Um, thanks, Birkin Bell, for telling me. Um, should own. I actually own a BB in solid and black, and regretted it for years. So happy you have it. Oh, and. Back then, okay. I can't stop carrying the Palm Springs Mini. Um, that's cool. So I have a few more things in here, not too many. Most of what was in this bag was actually the, the dresses, which is why I wanted to open it. But I have... Okay. So I have a couple of um, 
well, this is going to make me cry. I bought a, a charm, which has paw prints on it. And I have a coffee coffee cup charm. And then I also have, um, this is an airplane charm. So, yeah, only one paw print. It will be sad because I'm working on my old, my other bracelet now. I have, so this is the one I finished. This one's finished. And then I have these two, but I'm going to leave these two blank. But I'm going to fill up um slowly this one and mostly it's all off brand um i love when you open gifts i always wanted one i have I'm using a palm springs um i'm not a huge backpack fan i love the way they look i just was robbed out of my backpack once so i've never been able to comfortably wear one on my back since then but Nice bracelet stack, Jackie. Thank you, Yota. Um, I sleep with this. Actually, you know, one of the bracelets I need to put on, again, let me show you. It's over here, and I keep forgetting. I keep looking at it. This is a handmade um, Native American. He's Navajo, and this is beautiful, this motif. And this is this is probably one of the most expensive piece of jewelry I have in my entire collection. And it was just sitting here on my desk and thinking, I should wear that again. Um, because of how this is made, um, it looks simple. It's not simple. This is all handmade. Um, and this is, a, it's a man's bracelet. The, the artist who makes it is, is a gentleman. And when I bought this, this was $700. And now it's even more than that. The weight of this is very hefty. Um, the way he's constructed these triangle pieces is just artwork. Absolute artwork. It's genius. Um, it's one of the most beautiful pieces of um, metalwork I have. Um wear it enjoy it yeah i just need to put it on and and i change out my bracelets every once in a while i actually have two pieces a, a lot of heavy heavy jewelry um literally by weight heavy and i had to stop wearing some of it because my neck i have neck disc issues now joys of getting older but hey it's better than the alternative guys um so yeah i i pay a lot more for art artwork than i do for anything else that's why i like what I like so much about this this bag, guys, is that this is handcrafted. You know, I need to take the feet off. These are rubber feet, handcrafted by somebody. Um, in you know, I and as somebody who creates handcrafted items, I know that no matter what she charges for them, probably doesn't account for all the labor because you have to come up with the design, the pattern making, the process of the manufacturing. Um, it's not easy to own a small business. It's it's actually very difficult to succeed. So we try to support. Um, and I really, 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 really love that bag. Um, you are far from old. Thank you. I just feel a hundred. I feel a hundred. Um, Jolie, the bag did turn out beautiful, but it has it was beautiful before. Oh yeah, I love Jolie the resoline on that. That really was um, stunning. I liked how you said, "Don't do this to your bag." I'm doing it to my bag. <laughs> she made it weatherproof. Yeah. I haven't actually played with Resoline. I keep wanting to because I know Winnie did some Resoline when she was doing some repair work on one of her um <clears throat> one of her bags. I'm gonna string this up and then I'll show you how this looks as I bead these new beads on here. So yeah, I have a lot of dresses now. I need to start wearing more dresses. I do wear dresses often to the office. Um, it's and it's what I tell guys. It's like men, if you were able to wear shorts and flip flops to the office, I'm sure you would. Well, as women, we can get away with a murder. We just wear a dress. <laughs> There's some days I wake up and I'm like, I just don't want to wear pants today. I'm not feeling it. So, I'm still looking forward to your Stanley comparison video. Maria. <laughs> um, oh, yeah. What's everybody doing this weekend? Um, 
I'm pants. I'm I'm anti pants. Shorts for life. See, Saya, that's because you're from the islands. It's different on the islands. You know, here and even in Texas, if James could wear shorts every day to work, he would. But we that's the one thing as men, he's not really even though we technically don't have a dress code, but have a dress code, you know. So this is my new charms. So this one. Come on, camera. This one is an airplane. This one is a coffee cup. Starbucks coffee cup. But it doesn't say Starbucks. And then I have this little... This one has paw prints. Very appropriate. So, I'm going out to party Saturday night to hear my friend's band play. That's cool! Yeah, I don't do live music anymore. I love live music. I just don't do live music anymore. My favorite band is Blue October or Country and Western, which is George Strait. But then the people I used to watch is considered old country now. So I'm like, guys, it's George Strait. You know, but then Toby Keith just passed away and I love Toby. And then I see, I saw Toby live in concert way back. You know. Um. When are we meeting up in Vegas? Frozen Luxury, you give us... Well, okay, maybe not 2025. Maybe 2026, Frozen Luxury. 2026, I need to plan... I need to plan these things out. I'm a state worker. I only have so many holidays. Let me throw away this stuff. Isn't there a reunion in New York? Yeah, but the New York ladies, those are for like, I think that's that's like uh, Lisa from Living Lux Luxury in the Middle and with um, Meredith when she comes to New York. But I don't think Dale's coming to New York. And let's be honest, we're not really, I'm not really on that group. I mean, the, the, I, I I don't even think I could have lunch at the same place those ladies have lunch at. Let's just be honest. Um, I would like to, you know, it'd be cool to have a New York meetup, but nah. Can you show the Navajo bracelet? Yeah, sure. Um, maybe invite the next YouTube peeps retreat. Yeah. Is that focusing? And it's not been polished, guys. It's just been sitting out there. It should be polished, but it's not. Um, oh, yeah, there's the New York retreat with, with, with Dale. Not, I mean, that's a different one. This is the one that you guys are talking about. Our Winnie, um, Don. Who else is going to be there? Ed is, is, um, Eva going to be there too? Yeah, cruising around from port to port. Ended up in Venice. <laughs> and Cami. Yeah, so this is a beautiful... So his name, the artist who made this is Alton Bodoni. And um, I can... Um, I'll try to remember the link. Uh, it's the Americana, um, dot net is their website, I think. Let me see if I can find their website for you guys. Their website doesn't really show much. Um, they... With the this company, they do a road show... Mm. Let me see. Nope, that's not right. Delete, enter. Mm. Here we go. I spelled it wrong. Of course, I spelled it wrong. So let me just pin this into the chat. So this is the show, and they do it. They tour around the United States. They have a circuit they do, and I have been shopping from this group of of this this show for like. 20 years like i was in high school buying from them almost all of my like um let's see this native american bracelet this one came from them and this 
this ring was designed by the owner's wife, so it isn't Native American. It's just, you know, handmade. And then this pendant, also not Native American, but from Poland, from them. Um, so the Americana dot net that's them and they have if you go onto their website you can see when their next road show is going to be where they're going to be located and they have they work directly with artists directly so it's not like if you go to new mexico and you go to santa fe or whatever you're going to get you're going to pay a fortune right well they're already going through tons and tons of stock to find the best of the best and they work directly with artists so they get their stock at first you know, first run made just for them. And Alton Bodoni works with them. Like I've met Alton. Um, I've been to their home. Like I really know these people. <laughs> like I've I stopped by their house. I've been talking to them for years. I oh, every piece of Native American jewelry I own, other than the stuff that came from my mother or my uh, my mother, my grandmother came from them. Um, maybe in August I'll be a skinny bee. <laughs> New York City sounds like so much fun. I love. Yes, I love your paint. Actually, Yoda, your um little chicken, your little your little chick was so adorable. I love the sky. The sky was so pretty. Um <laughs> I'm ethnic. <laughs> oh, that's so funny. I just found out that you can book a reservation to see Tiffany Art at the ninth floor. Anyone in New York City? That's so cool. Um, so while we're talking, I'm going to get my medication, guys. You know, because, you know, this is, this is my life, you know, it keeps me living, walking pharmacy. Yes, I am. Um, alive because of modern medicine. I found out, um, you came, come up here to Cherokee. Actually, my grandmother is part Cherokee. We just, it wasn't documented, so we can't prove it um, because nobody was nobody admitted it then. You know, I actually know quite a few people who have that in their family lineage. Um, that's why it was really interesting, Saya, to listen to when you were talking on your interview about um, with Dee Dee, and they were talking about the native. Well, Dee Dee was talking about it with the native of uh, native language of Hawaii not being taught, but that the young people are learning it so that it's more, um, and it's taught in schools. Because Didi, living where we're living here in central um, Texas, you know, she spoke Spanish, but again, there's that generation where people were told, you can't do this, don't speak Spanish, speak English, and then they lose their, their uh, language. Um, Read catcher, your Cherokee as well. I mean, I mean, really, I mean, if you live in America, you're going to be partially native somehow, you know, if you're from here, you know, it's, it's just the way it is. Let's see, is that all the medication I need? Um, yes, I had Hawaiian classes mandatory. I think that's awesome. I'm sorry, I'm staying with Don Philly. So that week in August, I don't think I can go. I think I already looked. I'm spending a week in Florida in September, so I can't go in August. And my youngest sister's getting married in also August, and I can't go to that either. Um, but my twin's going, and she she went. She, she lost her passport, guys, and she already paid to get renewed. She already had her passport, um, and she can't find it. She she goes, I should tear up everything in my house to look for this dang passport. But did she? No. She stood in line with an application to do a renewal. And it's a spring break week, guys, so she had the time to do it. And she sat there for over an hour and a half as a fifth person in line as a walk-in for the passport process in the airport, or not airport, post office. And um, yeah, it takes a while to get, and it was like $150 for a renewal, and there was a $50 photo fee to get the photo. Um, yeah, expensive. Um, Maria, you also speak Italian? Nice. 
I grew up with Italian school on weekends. Yeah. I was supposed to take Thai classes, so I speak Thai, but um, I never learned how to read Thai or write Thai, which is sad because I would like to actually read Thai history in Thai. I think that'd be awesome. But um, I don't, I can at least speak Thai, but you know, my sister's kids won't. <laughs> I haven't used my passport since Saya. Were you literally kicked out of the Vatican? What did you do? Touch something that they weren't supposed to touch? I've always wanted to go to the Vatican just to see it. There's a new movie out I want to go see. It's called a Gra um Gabini? Grabini? I can't remember. It's about a, a nun who in like the early 1800s in New York who um yeah so we need to know what did you do what did you do Maria says I'm not perfectly fluent but yeah I've been really getting back into it um practically every day watched news in Italian yep Winnie I might have taken a couple of Xanax and told everyone they could see all this oh no I know. <laughs> you took okay. Whew, okay, you know, honestly though, if you do have people issues, you should be taking a Xanax at the Vatican because that is a very, very busy um city state. Um <laughs> good choice in Quebec, Winnie. Yeah, you have to learn French. Yeah, that's hilarious. That's cr that's priceless to be kicked out of the Vatican. I'm dream catcher. I'm Greek as well, Yoda. It's my jam. Well, hell, I've only taken a Xanax to go to Walmart. <laughs> okay, let's be honest though, Craig. Walmart, you do need a Xanax to go to Walmart. And then to deal with the self-checkout situation, I'm like, if it wasn't for James, I would never buy anything at walmart because i don't do self-checkout i being a cashier was literally one of my favorite jobs in retail i liked being a cashier but self-checkout machines i hate them hate them you know um. <laughs> well when in rome yeah i've actually never been to the vatican or to rome i've been to italy a couple times so we always ended up in northern italy because uh, that's where our friends were living so we never made it down further south and i've been told that further south is a different vibe completely than northern italy which is where i was i hate that damn oh yeah i hate i hate walmart i hate going in there i only go in there under extreme duress um i i absolutely hate i can never find anything i didn't mind walmart when it was just a clothing and notions kind of a store but now it's like a food so if you want like drugstore items you have to go to the opposite end of the store from like where the grocery items are it, it makes no sense and then there's the automotive section that's nowhere near anything else and they say i mean it's just like i hate walmart i like mail order just fine thank you Blah, blah, blah. I try to watch TV and read to keep up, keep up with Italian. Um, the super paranoid, uh, paranoid in Egypt of King Co King Cobras. Well, they're in Southeast Ta Southeast Asia. I didn't know if they were in Egypt. Uh, I went to Pompeii, um, and I think I saw ghosts there. Yeah, that's kind of creepy. Oh yeah, I hear music. I can hear it right now. <laughs> <laughs> then I used to go to Walmart in the middle of the night. Now I just go until, I, yeah, I just don't go unless I have to. Plus, they're always moving things around. To, yeah, I can never find anything. And James even used the app to find something that gave you, you know, chapter verse. It says aisle whatever, section whatever. He went to aisle and section to find the item nowhere to be seen. I'm like, well, that's because they lied to you. My family is Southern Italian, Northern Italian. It's beautiful. Venice, Como, the Dome. Miti Mountains. I was in Lake Como and we went to um, Torin and we were in Florence. Um, 
I must go there for Topo Chico. <laughs> I have to see that in Pompeii. I cannot find, I can't find anything in Walmart. I have better luck just, and then uh, forget having any kind of help. Our Walmart has a police station it. Oh my goodness. Saya, no. Are you serious? I've never heard that. Your Walmart has a police station in it. What the heck? <laughs> Walmart employees can't even find anything. I believe that. I believe that. My family has, um, from Southern Italy. Yeah. Yeah, Am yeah Amazon, everything. I really do. And we're probably going to end our Prime membership come August when it ups again because it's just not worth it anymore. But um, it doesn't give enough perks like it used to. And it just, the Prime itself doesn't get here in two days. And I live next to a distribution center. Center. I mean, I literally can go to the distribution center faster than they can deliver anything. Um in Texas, they liberally. Oh yeah, yeah. They, they no Topo Chico is in gas stations. Like I always hear, you have a hard time finding it. They sell Topo Chico everywhere here, because Topo Chico is, is like is like a normal drink here. So I can get it at the gas station. I can get it at HEB. I can get it anywhere. I it, it, I think it's interesting that you can't. <laughs> Jolie says, sounds like our emergency rooms in Philly. Yes, cops are there. I cannot believe you have cops in your Walmarts. Um, like, Bry, all of our Walmarts have police stations in them, but it's Memphis. Yeah, it could just be a Memphis thing. I don't know. We don't have that down here. Well, not that I know of, but here I live in a small town. The only store we have is a grocery. We have two grocery stores. We have an HEB, which is our grocery store, and then we have a Poco Loco, which is um second is a it's a Mexican grocery store, and I love it. It's my favorite place. And then there is um the Walmart. So a lot of people shop at the Walmart because if you need clothes, honestly, the only clothes if you need any kind of clothing, you have to go to Walmart. There's one other clothing store in the whole town it's called factory connection which i still don't know what that is i think i walked in there once and walked out um but if you need any type of clothing home goods or anything walmart or mail order or you have to go to the next town our next couple towns to be honest um yeah keith says our walmart has a subway sandwich shop um walmart may have mcdonald's yeah i've seen food places i've just never seen it's a water with gas. Yeah, it's it's just um, carbonated water, but it doesn't taste like um, it has a really neutral flavor because sometimes carbonated water has that really intense carbonation flavor. But I don't know. Tobo Chico, I can drink and I hate regular carbonated water. Um, yeah, even if it's targets and Whole Foods have. Um, I miss what Craig said. Have designated police parking. Wow. I'm surprised Chicago doesn't have cops inside Walmart. Memphis is fun. I drove far too far and got lost. Literally, people told us leave now. <laughs> oh my goodness. Target, on the other hand, has Starbucks. That's true. Saya, that is so true. This, I, but when we have been looking for a target that only look for Starbucks. If the Starbucks has, if the Starbucks is in a target, we don't go to that one because we don't want to actually have to go into target. We just want to get coffee. Philly just have cops and police activity. Haven't been near. Yeah. So, I mean, people have to shop somewhere, you know, I don't know. Well, so malls aren't doing well. Malls are closing, right? We don't have major department stores anymore. I mean, other than Walmart and Target, we don't even have a Kmart here in um, Texas. Yeah, let's add to it. Let's just put this on. Let's see if I can do this. It's a lobster claw. Nope, I can't do it. 
The mall here has four Starbucks and four care. Oh, I love caribou coffee. Okay, but Saya, you work in the Mall of America. You live in like you work in like the biggest mall in the world. I don't know if there's a bigger mall than that. Memphis and Nashville, nope, very different. Um, malls are so 1990s. Yeah, I remember 1990s. I remember going to the mall too. Here we go. There we go. There it is. So now, now we have added to the stack. Um, I used to wear wear them pretty much like this, like as many as you see. And then somebody had made a comment about my um my abundance, and I felt like okay, maybe I'm I'm being a little too much. And now I don't care. Now it's like I'll be extra. Like you should have seen like the necklaces I used to wear too. I mean, I looked like Mr. T. I had so many, and here I am with these little dainty earrings. But the rest of me, the rest of me, guys. A ring on every finger and about five bracelets. You know, I don't have there's not enough time in my life to just wear one thing. Um Keith, how have you old when I go to a mall? It's teenagers in their early twenties. Yeah. I want Winnie to visit the swim. Swim with the char wait, there's a swim with the sharks at your mall. Wait, there's sharks? I'm assuming these are like hammerhead sharks or something. Or nerf sharks, whatever they're called. I have a Starbucks downstairs nice that's what we did when we were young go to the mall and just walk around and meet boys i love the stack thank you i love yours too and now you need to get your own um charm bracelet um yeah i, I i'm just it's i'll be honest it's my mother she doesn't like she's my mother is very um stylish and she doesn't like she she's a gold person. She's Asian, right? So it's all gold, and she doesn't like the the look of my bracelets. So I I stopped wearing them for a while. But you know, my mom doesn't live here anymore. My mom doesn't even visit. We're good. When she comes, she complains. I say whatever, mom. You know. Thank you so much, Yoda. Um, I have nine Starbucks within two miles. So here's the thing about Starbucks. I only like their cold brew nitro. That is my favorite drink they make. I don't even like anything else anymore. It's like, and it has so much caffeine. Um, so they only sell it in the grande size because legally they cannot sell it in the vente size. So I order the large size in a vente cup with ice and four Splenda. And that will, if you're not used to caffeine, the nitro cold brew will keep you up. Where does your mom live? Mom, my Yoda, my mother currently is in Thailand. She lives there for about four to six months, depending. And then she spends the rest of the year in Denmark when it's pleasant, when it's not cold. <laughs> so she has all her fun right now. She's currently in Thailand and she has a house in Pattaya. So my my mom has two houses. So they have a home in Denmark, a home in Thailand, and they have cars in the respective places. And they go half the year between. And if we're lucky, she'll come here for like a week to visit the grand grandkids. Um, in Seoul, I, there is an intersection with the Starbucks on every corner. Each building has enough floor support. Wow. I want to go to Seoul someday. Um Jackie has me wanting a damn Pandora. I know, right? I See, here's the thing. I really like Troll also, but they're so expensive. I, so I actually think the uh, I like the Pandora more because there's a lot more. Most of my beads aren't actually Pandora beads anymore. They used to be, but they were the Pandora beads got so expensive. I'm like, they're just sterling silver, guys. It's not like there's a monopoly on that. Although, I was watching a video today where, they were t where she was saying that LVMH has bought up a lot of silver factories and they're quartering kind of there's like shortage of sterling silver at Hermes some because there's some type of LVMH is buying up silver in other places because LVMH owns Tiffany now right so it makes kind of makes sense but when you bought Tiffany didn't you buy the manufacturing supply that went with Tiffany I don't get it I don't know I know nothing I'm just speculating um hey it's nice hanging out thank you Yoda for visiting um friends i love you all but i have to go to bed good night maria good night i'm just hanging out with the night owls it is 11 almost 11 30 at night we are on we are on the the nighttime late night with um what day is it is it tuesday 
So it's almost going to be Wednesday. Dang, can you say something in Thai? Sure. So what do you cut? Which is normal. It's kind of like the boring. So let's say something different. Uh, when you need to bite the lot. So today I went to the market. Or let's say, um, Paul, man, you're Thai. How old are your parents? You know, um, or let's say something like, they'll buy the Kong for me. Tomorrow I'm going to go buy something. Or let's say, um, what's another one? Uh, they'll buy the lot. I'm going to go park the car, you know? Uh, so the fun one I like to tell people, though, is like food, because a lot of people eat Thai food. So if you want Thai food, um, is uh, the one that's the funniest one. It's like cashew chicken, which we people really like cashew chicken. So cashews are actually farmed in um, Thailand, but cashews themselves, the fruit, it's actually toxic. You have to process it correctly. You can't just eat it off the tree. So jackie said what um you should be going to bed 10 p.m not but never seems to happen so i'm talking i'm just saying phrases in thai so one of the fun things in in thailand is um the the word cashew is actually um in the pond I, and I'm saying that wrong. It's a stone of this plant, is what it translates to, and it's it's called. Um, and so most people just say stir fried cashew chicken or something whenever they go to a Thai restaurant. Or the other really popular dish a lot of people order is ladna, which is a um, actually a Chinese adapted dish to Thailand. And then there's which is a noodle dish with. Mm, gravy, pork, normally eggs, and it has like uh, Chinese broccoli in it. If you want want to know if a Thai restaurant is legit, look for the pick and Thai king. Oh yeah, every Thai restaurant, every Thai place will have the king and the queen somewhere in the restaurant. Extra spicy. Um, <laughs> I just know a lot of everything. Thai beef curry. So a uh, Thai beef curry would be. Mm, gang gang nua nua is beef gang is just means stew so gang nua is is beef um stewed beef and a lot of people one of the most popular dishes um pat kapow pat kapow is something that you will see on almost every thai menu and it is fried basil so the basil they use is a thai basil or a holy basil which is not the same as a italian sweet basil different profile and it tastes different when you stir fry it with oyster sauce and that's the big difference i was stuck in thailand during covid when thailand closed their board oh wow keith but the food was great <laughs> the food was great thai people eat like five times a day guys you're like how are you so skinny because they walk everywhere and they eat small portions but they you know they eat like lots of vegetables they eat lots of vegetables and i i like curry uh, so curry um with coconut milk is a southern thai food Curry in the north, where there isn't coconut trees, because we're not off of, um, we're not near the ocean, is a different type of curry, um, and it's made with um, tamarind based, and it's different, a whole different flavor profile. Um, best food and oh, so cheap. Oh yeah, Thai food's not expensive. I could eat, um, I eat kutiel, which is noodles, um, all the time. My favorite. My favorite Thai food is actually Chinese food. It's there's a lot of Chinese food that was brought to Thailand and adapted. Pad Thai, Pad Thai and green curry, Gang Kiel Wan, um, our Gang Kiel is the green curry, which means literally translate to green. Um, gang, which is stewed, and um, Gang Kiel Wan, Kiel is green. Wan is sweet, so it's like a sweet. Uh, it's not really sweet. It's actually green curry is really very amazing. It's one of my favorites. Um, and pad thai is actually another adapted dish from China. They use noodles, and it's and it's the way they make it. So, but it's very popular street food. Pad thai is an absolutely is totally street food. It's it's two a.m. in the morning street food. Um, I couldn't imagine how terrifying it would be trapped away from home during a pandemic. I can't either. My mother was actually in Thailand during that pandemic times, but they were able to get out before the borders closed. Chiang Mai, which is north. Oh, yeah. Chiang Mai has very different cuisine. Gorgeous, though. Um, 
Yeah, green curry is one of my favorite, favorite dishes. It's um, James's favorite curry is red curry. Kasoi. Yeah, kasoi. That is a very northern Thailand dish. I like it. I can't make it to save my life, but I love it. Um, and it's, they, they cook some very spicy food. Actually, some of the spicy fo spiciest food is in northern Thailand. Um, you know... My people love us some spam. I love myself some spam. Um, I I didn't have spam until I was an adult. Didn't know what spam was. And now I love it. I love, there's a spam dish I make with potatoes. That is my mother-in-law's favorite dish I cook. Uh, Corinne, my favorite is pot thai, usually chicken. Um, what is, Craig, do you not know what spam? You know what spam is. That's a joke, right? Spam is a tinned pork product. It's very salty. It's not healthy, but it was very popular um, during the Second World War because it was able to be exported, and which is why it was popular in Hawaii too. When you have failed to go around with no tourists being able to experience local life, hotel rates with rock bottoms because no one was around. Yeah, I bet, I mean, you were probably with some of the coolest people. Northern Thailand has some of the friendliest, um, I think they're some of the friendliest. See, the, the thing is, Northern Thailand is the poor part of Thailand, actually. Um, Chiang Mai being one of the wealthier parts, it's, it's the big city up there, but Northern Thailand in general is is poor than the South, because the South has the wealth of, you know, not just tourism, but the, the ocean. Um, I'm going to have to Google that if, I, if I've never heard of it. Craig, where have you lived life without ever hearing about spam? It is in a lot of Hawaiian cuisine. It was adapted and used because it was so very, um, because it was shelf-stable. It's just canned pork. It's very salty. Um, but it is <laughs> canned meat. Yes, yes. Craig, we're not saying it's a delicacy here. We're just saying it's a cultural icon. <laughs> and it was very popular in, in Korea because it was also taken during the Korean War, during the time of the with the GIs bringing it over there. And it was adapted to the local cuisine there. You know, um, Spam Musubi is life. I agree. I totally love Spam Musubi. Spam Musubi is a Hawaiian version of uh, like a sushi, but it's not really sushi. It's 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 a nori, which is seaweed with sushi rice, which is glutinous rice with a piece of Spam. And it's really yummy. Um, I've never heard of it. Um, oh, wow. That's awesome. I wish I could have traveled to exotic places. Oh, I eat pork. I'm ju oh, I forgot. That's right. You would never have heard of that. You would never have even been exposed to that. <laughs> Jackie in Korea is given spam gift sets as Thanksgiving. <laughs> I've, um, I'm, yeah, you can't, yeah. Fried spam with rice. Yep. Winnie, I love Vienna sausages and potted meat. I want to clean out a spam can every very, very well and use it as a drinking <laughs> Keith, okay, watch anything this year. Please watch FX show Shogun. I love Shogun. I watched the original miniseries. I actually have the book. It's based on a true story. You know, pot of meat with saltiness or saltines. Yeah, makes sense now. It totally makes sense. Totally forgot he was Jewish. <laughs> it's like, oh yeah, of course you wouldn't know. How would you know? You would never be exposed to this. Um, we love spam. We call it lunch on uh, lunch on meat and. Uh, in instant noodles, like how the Koreans do. Yep, I watch Shogun. Spam is made in New uh, Minneapolis. No, you meant Minnesota. Minnesota, yes, um, yes. But one is good. Oh yeah, I agree. But we just got rid of all of our streaming services, <laughs> so we don't have Hulu. We don't have Disney Plus. We don't have Netflix. We got rid of it all, unless it is on Prime because we still have Prime. We have no services um, because we're never, if I'm home, I'm YouTubing or we're, um, James is watching. He has a PS5 and a Xbox, whatever they're called now. And he has streaming. He does a gaming Steam, Steam. It's called Steam. Mm -hmm. He has all the devices. So his form of entertainment 
is going to be podcasts that he's listening to or his video games. My form of entertainment is hanging out with y'all or watching YouTube. Today I had a hard time watching YouTube, mainly because I was sad um, and crying a lot. But the other part of it is, is the content out right now is really irritating me. It was really bugging me. So I had to move over to something else. So I was actually listening to Super Jacob read um, The Allure of Chanel. Uh, he did a um, audio reading from like five years ago, but the only way to get it is be on his Patreon membership. So I was listening to that today, and that made me happy. <laughs> um, I still pay cable, so I record the show. That's cool. She, oh my god, Netflix via T-Mobile is has commercials. Yeah, I'm sure it does. Oh my god, now I want to cook some for lunch. Craig, shoot, if you ever come over, please remind me. He's um Craig. Wait, what? Craig, remind GD of what? Watch Dan Damsel on Netflix. So good. Let's see. What did Craig say? I missed it. I've never touched pork. Never been in any of my. Fa- oh wow. Um. I'll try to reduce the guilt by air frying spam instead of frying it. I haven't tried that. If that really works, Connie, I want to try that. Or Corin. Corin. I can't remember your name. Corrine. Corrine. I can say, I can do this. Corrine. Um, joy loves C. I always like telling Joy. Um, I was from Malaysia. Um, Chitham, are you in... Craig can't visit. I'm reading that book right now. Oh, Shogun? Or some other book? What I miss, Linda S. Damsel is a dang. Oh, Damsel? Is Damsel a book? He's Jewish. No pork. Yeah, no pork. Um, ooh, another great foodie country. Um, Malaysia. I've been to Malaysia. I've actually been to Penang. Uh, Penang Island, I think it was called. And we drove down from, from Thailand into Malaysia. I can't, I still can't visit anyone as long as you have coffee. <laughs> I'm good. Yes. Coffee is life. Um, I'm coming over the allure of Chanel. Oh, you're reading the allure of Chanel. Yes. Uh, that book is really good. I have the book, but I'm listening to Jacob read it. So it's a little bit more fun. Uh, cause Jacob, he needs to redo that. I don't, I know the man has no time, but He's really good at audio reading. He needs to, if he doesn't do audiobook readings as like voice, as a voice actor, he needs to do that. It's like I told him, I know there's not any money in voice acting, but it's still, he would be so good at it. Um, Craig, I'll make you some Cuban, co- Cuban coffee. I don't think I've had Cuban coffee, Miss Jelly. I've had a lot of coffee. I don't think I've had Cuban coffee. How is that different? I lived in an apartment in New York City. The elevator stopped at every floor on the weekends. Every 10 minutes for Jewish people, I moved out ASAP. <laughs> um, I'm reading one. Oh, Jolie, send me the link for Vivian Westwood. I want to read that one. Um, I Penang, is, yeah, it was beautiful. I went to one of the Buddhist temples there. It was probably the most... I can't explain... Um, I've shown, like, people have seen temples in, like, Thailand, but the temples that were I saw in Penang Island was the most amazing Buddhist temple I had ever seen. It was awe-inspiring. I'm too, I couldn't walk up those stairs anymore, but it was, it was awe-inspiring. Just beautiful. Not anymore since the elders in my family have all passed. We don't do the traditions any longer. Um... I love coffee. Coffee chats with Chris. Hey, Chris. Best coffee on earth is Guatemalan coffee, in my opinion. I get the shade grown Guatemalan coffee from Rudamaya. That's the brand of coffee I prefer. Isn't it strong coffee? There's two kinds, Jackie. All delicious. Oh, I try it. It didn't matter. I try it. Um, Cardato, Cardito, or is it? It is espresso. The mall has a gas station in it that. Crap, iced coffee is there. <laughs> That's funny, Saya. Intense and sweet. I make Cuban coffee too. Chess with Chris. I'm so happy to have friends up. I was so bored. I thought I was considering. Oh, well, yeah. I had a really crappy day and I slept all day. So I'm here and I'm probably not going to work tomorrow. Um, I'm just going to take the day off and tell my boss, like, I'll be there Thursday. 
Um, Keith, are you traveling to Asia a lot? Winnie, Hawaiian koa, con koa coffee is good. I'm Jewish by birth, but I don't observe the religion anymore. Just not the pork ever. Yeah. Caribbean coffee is the best. Lots of app, lots of coffee here too. I start my morning so at least three cups. That's my goal. I actually drink lots of black tea, more black tea. I probably drink more tea than I drink coffee. Um, because I can drink coffee, I can drink tea hot, and then as it cools down, cold, I can't do that with coffee. Coffee either has to start hot, hot, or be cold. It cannot be in between. I've been to every country in Asia, she sims except Syria, Afghanistan, Turkmenistan, and North Korea. Wow, Keith. That's pretty dang cool. Winnie, my grandma, is from Korea. Oh, no, from Kona. Um... Wow, impressive, Keith. That's pretty dang cool, um, Keith. That have been to all like I can I can been to I've been to all the Scandinavian countries. So that's I can I can say that. <laughs> um, yeah, I always have a gallon of black tea in my fridge, hotel room. Blah, hubby is sleeping just fine, <laughs> and you're like I can't sleep, Keith. You're such a seasoned traveler. I'm so jelly. Um, same here. Same. I need my coffee hot, hot, like hot, hot, like inhumanly hot, like not my husband help i will be finished with i'll be like drink half my coffee say it's too cold now he hasn't even started drinking his coffee why does coffee shops hit a different than homemade i don't know i wish i knew hawaiian is kona coffee macadamia nuts and pineapples i love macadamia nuts um i've been making my coffee at home for a year and i want and i went to a coffee shop a week ago and now I'm addicted. I know, right? I don't know what it is. Maybe it's just the smell of the coffee shop, the environment. I just like, I love coffee shops. I'm happy with my Nespresso. The Nespresso doesn't get hot enough for me, guys. Literally is not hot enough. Um, my friends are like, it's so hot. I'm like, no, no, you don't understand. I want my water boiling. So people who brew coffee are like, that's too hot, Jackie. You can't use boiling water. It's too hot. You need to let it. And I'm like, I don't care. I want it hot. It's the commercial coffee makers. I believe that, Craig. I believe that completely. Those commercial coffee makers are most espresso machines in commercial buildings are $20,000. And so your $1,000, if you're lucky, espresso machine at your house doesn't compete. Um, I used to go to the coffee shop every day. Oh, my God. The store always has a long line. Um, oh, yeah. Shopping is so good and everything is open and inviting. I love it. Um, then I was like, let me save my coins. Yeah, the coffee shop every day. I have to I have to make tea because again, the five dollar coffee addiction daily is a lot. But now I feel like I work hard. I'm entitled to that small joy. It makes me happy. Yes. Um coffee makes you happy. Coffee always makes me happy. Home machines don't pull enough. <laughs> it's true. Spend so much on coffee. I I like I like the environment. Of, I like reading a book in a coffee shop. It's my favorite thing to do. Um, I like people coming and going. I don't want to talk to anybody. Not really. I just want to be in there. <laughs> so, um, LV, the Aramaeus and Hawaii's are generous with bag offers to relative to. I've heard that, Keith. I, well, I haven't heard that. I've seen that when I watched to see Lover LV. She she keeps going to Hawaii, and every time they go, they buy something. So, oh, she didn't have to get up early for work. Okay, Apple Blonde. Apple Blonde. See you tomorrow. Can't handle bad coffee. I can't drink bad coffee. I stopped drinking the coffee. It's just really bad. I had eight Starbucks drinks today. Eight? Okay, what's your Starbucks drink of choice? I want to know, Craig. I love that too, especially when it's rainy day. Keith, good night, Keith. No, oh, no, we're saying good night to Apple Lawn and Apple Lawn say good night to Keith. Yes. Um, love, love, love smell coffee. I can't drink a lot because of my heart, but yeah, yeah. Um, I have acid reflux, so I'm not supposed to drink coffee. I drink coffee. <laughs> I use my mocha pot every single day. Um if I was more with it in the morning, I would make coffee. I used to make coffee, but then what happened was my mother-in-law came here to live with us, and part of my morning in the morning was to make 
coffee was to grind the beans and it's just not the same and i tried to do it at night and then put preload the coffee machine but then i would forget so then i just got out of the out of the habit of it and so we haven't really been having as much coffee as we used to and i'm not, i don't even know if i have coffee beans at my house anymore that's why i'm telling you of course it doesn't help that our office now has a starbucks like literally has starbucks in the compound it's not starbucks by starbucks it's starbucks vendor through our contractor so it's still starbucks but it's, and it's kind of like the starbucks that's in a um target that type of starbucks or the type that are in like the bookstores they're not run by the company but they're legally has all the same things does that make sense mm -hmm. I have anxiety, but I drink Celsius energy drinks. I don't sleep before. Four. Koreans hate strong coffee to the point where Starbucks and Korea put in one shot less than. Are you kidding me, Keith? That is a crime. What do they drink if they don't drink strong coffee? Um. Well, this might explain the soju thing because Korean soju is pretty easy to drink, and it's their pop most popular alcoholic beverage. Um. D, I'm sorry to hear that. I didn't realize you had arrhythmia. Um, wait. Would he be mine for crumb? <laughs> Whole house. Slice and bake cookies. Can you have decaf, DD? Um, your mother had a heart murmur. I'm going to have to air fry Brussels sprouts. Oh, I love air fry Brussels sprouts. And two ounces of chicken for dinner every day. I love Brussels sprouts. So what we do is we put it in the oven at 400, probably better at an air fryer. Well, the secret ingredient to the Neiman Marcus chocolate chip cookies is coffee. Ooh, that's awesome. What an air fryer like? What's an ant? Um, I have an air fryer. It's really just a small mi uh, micro focus convection oven. If you already have a convection oven, you have an air fryer. But most people don't have a convection oven, and it's just another countertop appliance. Um, do you like soju? I'm not opposed to soju, but I don't really drink alcohol. I really had my first drink today in like months and months, if not a year. I had a margarita. That's the one thing I'll have once in a while. I used to drink um craft beer but again i have i have gout i'm diabetic i have and alcohol is a lot of sugar i love brussels sprouts dd but the coffee culture is very strong in korea like you can find a coffee shop but but oh no really i don't get that uh, don't really do customizations they only really chi that's jackie put the teriyaki and soy sauce on your brussels sprouts no i don't because i don't actually like teriyaki sauce or brussels or, or i don't that's not how i like my brussels sprouts james what do you like specific soy sauce that's true i'm very picky about my soy sauce um james what's how do you put what do you put on our, our brussels sprouts when you make them do you use that the, the you use that seasoning spice the arizona dreaming right so james uses a spice blend called arizona dreaming from penzi's spice it is a really good spice so you just you just toss your um brussels sprouts and you cut them in half trim off the ends toss them in olive oil throw on that seasoning throw them in the oven and it's really good i actually don't like brussels sprouts are very strong in flavor so i don't think they're really good with soy to be honest um I love spinach, says Saya. I love um, is it? I love Brussels sprouts in all forms. It's a very pretty plant. You're right. I spent three weeks in Korea in December, says Corinne. Jackie, thanks, Jackie. Don't talk about it much. I ignore it. Well, yeah, it's a good thing to. I mean, I would too. It's like it's it's hard to. Yeah, nothing you can do about it. So just you know, live your life, right? Um. She says, I had to order another shot and pour in myself. Wow. To have an extra shot of coffee. Besides energy drinks, I'm mainly a champagne-type gal. I don't do champagne, but I can drink a bottle of Prosecco, which I don't drink anymore. Julie, I think Cuisinart is really good. I like Cuisinart um, as a as a brand. They they make really good equipment. Brussels sprouts better have some garlic on them, or I don't want them, says <laughs> Keith. And add orange juice um, so it's not bitter. 
to the chimp pen. God, I do slap your mama from Louisiana. Now, I've tried to slap your mama. That's some good stuff. Jackie says, sorry for your loss. Are you doing okay? Hey, Laura. I um, cried most of the day, literally, and then slept the rest of the day. And um, I'm still looking for him. Uh, and I keep seeing him, like, I keep looking for him. You forget how often you look until they're not there. You know, and um, Mr. Watson is napping happily. He's very happy being an only pug right now. He, and then, guys, I found out that my friend last week, she had to put her senior dog down too. She to euthanize because uh, she was she was literally in New York area i can't remember where exactly but her uncle had just passed so she went up for the funeral and while her dogs were being house sat um she she had the had the dog sitter had to take her dog to the emergency vet and the emergency vet diagnosed her with like a, a can a, some type of cancer so only and she was a senior a senior dog too um she had so while she was at a funeral for her uncle she lost her dog i'm like oh my goodness so and then we lost our dog this weekend so or this week so this saturday we're gonna go hang out at her house bring our our pug watson with her shepherd ava and we're gonna have a doggy play date <laughs> because they're both missing their friends um uh, Watson is sleeping. Watson, Watson is is he is okay. Pugs are Chinese, and they are companion dogs, and they just want to be where you're at, and they sleep all the time. They are the sleepiest little dogs you've ever met. They're and they're lots of activity, food motivated, and naps. That's that is what a pug life is. That's why pugs are the best for you if you are working ten hours a day. If they have a companion, now he doesn't have a companion, and Grandma's not here, so it's gonna be rough on him. So I love that idea, Jackie. Um, yeah, it's rough about Milo. It's sad. He had end-stage kidney failure. Like, when he says, I love all things Louisiana now, I almost went to school. I almost went to LSU. I really did. Um, I like, Louisiana is, 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 is a state. I don't know how they're run because I used to work with their state documents and how that, how that state functions is beyond me. But it's a fun place to visit. Um, Singaporeans love Korean almost as much as they love Japan. Really? Um, Winnie, I know you do know that's where I'm Yeah. Yeah. Um, Craig is from Louisiana. You guys, she's in Lafayette. Yes, Lafayette. I've been to Lafayette. We've stayed there a few times. You guys looking for your K-drama opa? <laughs> I don't do K dramas. They drive me nuts. I know there's a whole fandom for K dramas, but oh, it drives me crazy. My dogs are depressed. They don't know what to do. That's because your ginger was the matriarch. Our dogs are companions to us. We are the bosses. So they're like, oh, we're, you know, you're feeling with those people. We're good. <laughs> Jolie, that is the dang truth. Lisa, it's no country. All parishes, yeah, counties, yeah, they're all parishes, and yeah, they're all parishes. But we used to work with gas and oil leasing. I, that's what I used to do, and I used to deal with their their um, documents. And uh, I don't know how anybody functions in that state. <laughs> and I used to do land uh, mapping there too, um, because they were settled. How they were settled, most of the land deeds were all done for water facing. So these long, long, narrow strips of land because everybody wanted water access. Um, nightmare to map. I live in Lafayette, Oregon. Um, <laughs> someone tell me I don't need an Epi Speedy. You have an Epi Speedy. You don't want a cream colored up. You have a red one. Love your red one, Chris. I love your red one. I want your red one. I may or may not have an Epi Speedy in my cart that I'm not purchased, but it's in my cart. You know, it's a blue one because I really want one. But financially, I'm like, Jackie, you got to stop. We now have to. Guys, Milo's medical expenses for his last day of life was $2,000 between the emergency vet. And the private cremation and fees, I'm telling you, 
Milo was very expensive. Thankfully, we had a credit card, but now we're paying interest on that. <laughs> so, yeah, no Epi Speedy in my future. Um, as much as I would love one, and we now have to pay off very, very expensive medical puppy debt. Worth it. It made his life, end of life, easy. Um, he was born in Lafayette, Indiana, Jolie says. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Out of your damn shopping cart. Oh, no. Oh, yeah. The, the Speedy. I'm not buying a Speedy. And it wasn't even a... a guys, it was like a $250 Speedy. I'm not even talking about a new Speedy. It was a $250 Speedy. But, yeah. Vets are ridiculous. Cost me more than my fur... Yeah. The, the, the amount of money... The, the emergency vet, um, that was $1,200. And then it was $700 today. You know, for all the other fees. And we knew. We knew. You know, his his um cremation, private cremation was like three hundred dollars because to there's you can just bury your here in Texas, you can just bury your pet in your backyard, but we, we never do that. We we pay for the private cremation. You can do a group cremation, which we don't do, um, which is cheaper, but we just do the private donation or cremation and then we get the ashes back. Um Julene, Indiana. My Indiana, <laughs> we're singing songs. Um, vets are crazy. Yeah, very expensive. Um, I'm not sending her. Oh, yeah. Craig is not sending me many more bags to buy. It's okay. Um, yeah, the speedy is three thirty. Oh, I hate being responsible. I know, right? Uh, we do private as well. Yeah. So, is half kidding. <laughs> well, Keith does send me some photos, but I'm at the point where. Here, I am like, I have no space. I can't really sell the ones I want to sell to move them out. So I'm pretty much going to probably start dropping prices pretty low on the, my, all of my accounts and just get the things out of the way because I just, so I can have a little bit more space. And I'm, I have a bounty of, of, of bags. So I really don't need anything. Um, I'm looking like the one I really want is the one that's coming from Naomi. I want to get her bag because she made it. It's handcrafted. That's really what I want to put the money towards right now. And that, that bag's $200 or more because her bags were run. Her her bags run between $400 for those silk ones. And even with the promo code, you know, but they're handmade and they're, it's hard not to support a small business. Louie has enough money. Um, vets are making people take dogs home and uh, yeah oh yeah that's true Jolie that happens here too I'm just not reading that out loud but yeah that happens here too and that's what my dad would do and dad did do and even in Oklahoma that's what my family did there too it's just what happens uh, Keith I'm an enabler but I don't want her to, f to feel she needs to buy I don't feel like I need to buy I just have an addiction problem to the feeling of opening items. That's really what it is. Um, but yeah, but see, Chris, whatnot is live auction selling, and I don't feel, I don't like to um, do live auction selling because I feel like it's kind of pressure tactics hey buy this or somebody else will and i don't like that they even do that on poshmark there's posh part posh parties and um where they're live auctioning also but i just don't i don't want anybody to buy anything i have because i own it i want them to buy it because it's something they would like to own themselves you need to check you into a bad clinic jackie i know keith you know um but it's okay. It's it's just that I just have to look around me and say, Jackie, what else can you possibly buy that you don't already have? I already have it. Um, Jolie, that's what I'm talking about. I'm just not going to read that out loud. So, I mean, I have, as, as Winnie was saying, we buy the same things. Oh, Keith, that's a real thing. Jolie lives in, in Florida and I'm in Texas and that's normal here. It is normal here. I'm not even being, it's not, I'm not joking, you know, um, it, Texans and, and we look at animal ownership as ownership. Yeah. 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 No, 
No, it's not. No, it's not. Um, it's not. Uh, so anyway, moving on. Moving on. Oh, if Winnie's still in the in in, in here, um, yeah, where the red fern grows. Have you stayed uh, pew pew on? <laughs> so I I took this um key clay that Winnie sent me, and I washed this thing. Um. Washed it and then I shined it. Look at that. Look at how nice that looks with a little bit of um Bresso. Well, yeah, I know it takes off the original patina, whatever. I don't care. It's mine now. I'm gonna see if I can re um um put a new metallic finish on on here. I don't know if I can. I've looked up things. Um did anyone else have no sound on my I can see your Gucci video. Oh, I don't watch Instagram videos, so I'm bad about that. I'm totally being broke hurts. <laughs> um, I love that video you did with your husband. It's legal in red states. Yep, it is. No sound. Yeah, so I, I watched it. Now, I've seen where people have actually restored these with um, the, by painting them. Because all this is is a gray paint on the white, and on the on the blue squares is a blue paint. That's all it is. It's blue and gray paint. Um, and I've seen people actually restore these on the edges. But I was just like, I don't need to do that. I just wanted to give it a little bit of a shine. Um, but I wanted to show you. I don't think I showed you, but remember I was showing you this bag? I polished the metal here, too. Look at, and I know it takes off the original patina, whatever, but I wanted it to look a little bit more shiny. Um, you see how shiny the the gold um, is now? It's just really, and I did it on the edges, so this bag is um, almost ready to go. I just need to use a little bit of paint touch-up on the edge edges so that you don't see the um, brown. And it will, yeah, never try metallics. Um, yeah, both hardware looks so much better. Yeah, right? And it's just um, it's just a little, and this is a vintage bag. Like, this is probably from the 50s. Um, I love this bag, guys. I, 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 I love myself some crocodile. Like, I think crocodiles and alligators are fantastic anyway um, from behind a glass window. Like, <laughs> I've heard stories about the the. The, the issues in the waterways in Florida. No, no bueno. No bueno. Um, so that black crock bag is um, granny chic. Yes, right? Here's my other granny bag. Um, this is my vegan weather Vivian Westwood granny bag. I love granny bags, guys. I love them. They're like, there's something about them that makes me happy. Um, anyone else having connection issues? I don't know. Um, anyone else having connection issues? Dee Dee, not me. Um, okay. I love old bags. It's really pretty. Yes, this one. Well, this one is um, old looking, but not old. And this is vegan. But they have two versions of this exact bag. There's a vegan version and a non-vegan version. And um, I just really like it. I just really think they're pretty. Uh, this is a Vivian Westwood bag. It's my only Vivian. Um, I'm... I'm obsessed with clasps, everything right now. Me too. I love clasps. I love old bags. Thank you, Craig Linda. It's on my end. It's a snap closure on that Vivian bag. Reminds me of a coin purse by Granny use. I actually have is it over here. Yes, here. Though this one is this one is a vintage-ish bag. No, this is one of this is one of my favorite bags. This is like a ten dollar. I bought off you. Do you know how hard it is to do the beading? This is all beaded. This entire bag. This entire bag is beaded. I do bead work. You could not pay me the hours it would take to bead this. Could could not pay me. This is beautiful. Um, yes, Jolie alligators. Um, this is a beautiful bag, and and it was like ten dollars off eBay because this is it's it's old enough to be like oh everybody had those in the nineties. I don't want that, you know, but. Look at how beautiful that is. I love this bag. And I don't do anything with it. I used to have um, 
I actually have never used it. I've 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 just had it and I play with it once in a while and then I put it um and I show it off it's because it's beautiful. Um that's going to the opera bag. And that's the problem. We don't have an opera anymore. Keith, I love Dooney, cloth coin purse. And this bag, of course, is hanging out over here. I just have it to look at. Um my cute little Fendi. I got this from Ed. We traded bags. And um I'm thinking about getting a Vivian wallet. I'd like a Vivian wallet. Uh, Jolie, I'm still in shock that you put a crystal stud on your Chanel O, o, o case. She, If y'all missed that, she did a short where she put a crystal on her Chanel O case. I'm like, but it's her bag. You can do that. It's fine. <laughs> um, I have to be born. I need to have been born in the 1940s. Yeah, I have a similar one. What? A mini pick. Uh, mini peekaboo. Yeah. I, uh, oh, I guess I hadn't shown you. It, this is, um, I got this uh, at a trade. So um, Ed bought this from the real real and he did some color restoration on it, but he wasn't happy with the results. And Ed's a little bit of a perfectionist. So if he doesn't like the result, he just moves the things on. So I gave, I traded him a surf and mint coach tote. Um, and uh, he sent me this and I love it. I think it's adorable. It's my only Fendi. I, I I have a love of blue. The, the it feels beautiful. Um, it just feels beautiful. Um, I want to send one of my Chanel card holders to be crystallized by Minx, like Minx did. Really, Minx did that too. See, I really okay, guys. So I think Dee Dee has it. She has the Marc Jacobs crystal denim micro or small or whatever they're calling it tote, and. Melissa's corner has, I think, the medium or small or whatever they're called. But I'm worried about the crystals coming off. And I'm like, and it's like a 300 just for the mini tote. And again, I now have to pay for Milo expenses. So I can't buy a mini tote or an LV anything. I can't buy anything, let's be honest. I'm going on vacation in a few weeks. And yeah. Hmm. If you have it. So what do you think of the crystals, how they're on? See, I've seen reviews, but people really don't talk about how the crystals are adhered to that denim. Because denim's cotton. It has to be a clear um, adhesive because it's not prong set. Jackie, you have more people on your live now than when you did your live at an earlier hour. I know. We're all night owls. Y'all thumb up the live. If if um, I don't even know how many thumbs up we have, <sighs> you can see. Hey, can you see my comments? Yes, we can, Lisa. I can see that comment at least. Um, me too, Craig. These folks use E six thousand. We all vampires. Yep, we're all vampires. We're all my owls. Hey, Lisa, I see your comments oh my god jackie i just realized i don't i'm not able to talk to you daily i know craig i know but it's only for one week and i will be able to talk to you when i'm in port in port i can text you but i can't i don't buy the i don't buy the cell package because we're off i don't i would go through withdrawal okay you don't i talk to craig more than i talk to james and i live with james James doesn't care about what I say anymore. We've been married too long. He's playing a video game. He cares nothing about my bags. So I can show him a photo of my bags. He's like, that's a nice bag. But Craig, Craig and I, we all sit there like, do you see this? Do you see this? You know, we we our love language is sharing our love of bags. Okay. You know, um, only 25. Um, I stay up doing nothing. She says, I was asleep, but I woke up to see the um Oh, now you're here. Oh, one week. Hell, what am I going to do? It's it's only a couple of days. I'll I'll be able to talk to you when we're in port, and I'm in port twice in that one five day. It's not really a whole seven days. It's only like five nights or something. Um, to enjoy your digital detox, I'll still be reading my Kindle. That's that's the irony of all this is that I still have my digital devices. I just won't be connected to the interwebs. I'll probably try and take a book though. To be honest, like not. Not my Kindle, um, because I need to just, there's some books we ordered that I just need to read, and I think 
And when I read something, I sink into it. And I haven't been able to do that for a long time. Ha! Huh. We got a new toy, too. Oh, this is an old toy. Old new toy. James found our old Nintendo DSs. We sold my um, light, Nintendo light, Switch light, to my sister to give to her or my niece. And then I found this one. And I'm, I'm going to play with this one again because I like this one. Um how do I s stop my older bags from... Oh, okay. So how do you stop your older bags materials from flaking off? Well, number one, Lisa, where are you storing it and what material is it made out of? So most things that will cause your bags to flake off of the material is either it's in too dry of a place or too moist of a place. Bags are temperamental. If it is polyurethane, and that's normally what's going to flake, things that are not actually leather, but plastic coating of some type, they will just do that. The best way to stop them from flaking is if it's like a liner, is to actually reseal the lining. Um, and you can, there's a process you can do that. It just depends. Uh, yeah, the leather ones are going to be fine if you, if they're flaking, it could also be dry rot on the leather. So that means they're too dry. And what you want to do is moisturize your bag and it will stop the dry rot. It does not fix the dry rot, it just stops it from happening further. Um, so you want to do, because leather is a natural material, where polyurethane is an unnatural material, and that will just flake, because it's, um, and, and that's just going to happen. So, but you can stop it by sealing it with another coating. Now, what material you coat it with, I don't know. I've not done it. I have actually sewn in a new bag lining, because the lining was a plastic coating that was flaking. Um, use a dust bag to keep it not too hot, not too moist in a dry area. Yes, don't don't leave it in a plastic bin because you need air to circulate around it. Don't put it in direct sunlight. They're they're finicky. They're finicky. Now, um, if they're already peeling, you can do some acrylic. I mean, if it's polyurethane and say it's cracking along the edges, uh, like this one, because this is poly. This is this is vegan leather, which is plastic material it will eventually can get some cracking along the edges here um you can stop that by just do some painting on it to, to do color correction and then you just seal it again with another uh, material um plastic is plastic yeah plastic will flake it's just the way it is but um hey winnie um yeah, we're just talking about how to keep bags from not flaking. Now, if they're already flaking and they're polyurethane, the only thing you can do is reseal it. Um, you missed the giveaway, Winnie? Oh, Saya. <laughs> talking about how Working Boy will survive. Yeah, he's not going to survive. We're not going to survive without each other. We're going to have to. We're going to have to actually have days where we don't talk to each other. This is new. <laughs> um. I've had a humongous kidney stone. Oh no, Winnie. Oh, girl. <laughs> that is hilarious. Um, let me I'm gonna close off some. There you go. Yeah, so there's like really no way. So here's the thing, like this one. This one, the reason why you have a little bit of that brown, that's actually dry rot where that leather is has been overly dried, stored improperly, and it's flaking. So I moisturized it, and then I'm going to cover it up with an edge coating so that it doesn't, it's not visible, but it's never going to go away. It never, you can mask it, you can change the way it looks, you can stop it from doing it, but it will continue to do it if you don't uh, use a seal, a sealing coat. Yeah. My hook came off the off where my Mickey and Minnie fell. But this is a close close up picture of this is an outlet version of a denim um, bag that came out several years ago, and this is called the Mickey, literally called the Mickey um, bag. Don't you have to get them removed? Oh. 
Well, Ashley Keys, they don't really do that. It's very invasive unless they have to. Um, they actually give you medications. There's a whole process. It's very painful. It really is. Okay, I reposted the IG. It should have sound now, Sasaya. Um, yeah, 15 to 20 surgeries. Wow, Winnie. Um, be right back, Travis. Hey, Travis is getting home late. Awful. Uh, Lisa, I have to use the these item bag or shoes they will fall apart yeah um yeah you just have to you know f f fake leather just doesn't last no it doesn't for it's, and it's crazy because the material um is cheaply made i mean it's okay it's not cheaply made it's inexpensive to produce the textile because any type of textile you can produce in quantity um is easier than using leather. Leather comes on per animal. Then you have to take per hide, has to be treated individually, and there's a lot of waste in that hide. Because once you cut out your patterns, you, you there's parts of the hide that just don't, you're not using, right? So that gets milled up and they use that into like a dust, kind of like a, they call it regenerative. They, what they do is they bonded leather. Like they take the, the, the leather, flakes and they put it with an adhesive and they call that um bonded leather and it's it will flake also because what's holding it together is is an adhesive and so like the problem with and so when you can produce a textile in smooth sheets and quantity it's always gonna be cheaper because it's about less waste in the cutting process um but i try to okay Ooh, you know what's nuts i can hear can hear now, Saya. Yay! Um, I like the. Sometimes it's the upload process. Um, when you open, when you load a video into any of these formats. Um, <laughs> so anyway, I have I have my old school DS Mac. This is old and. It's been dropped a few billion times. It still works. Um, but we're going to probably give our other DS, or not DS, our Nintendo Switch to my brother-in-law. Because their, ki he has, their kids are at the age where they think Mario is awesome. So we, we want to foster that love of Mario. <laughs> we would like them to actually play video games. I know, we're those weird aunt and uncles. Sometimes people like, we don't want, they don't want their kids to play video games. Like, no, no, no. Eye and hand coordination. We want them to learn how to do this. <laughs> uh, my niece doesn't like to play video games. She watches video games. I'd rather her play video games than to just watch other people playing Minecraft. Um, I have... I must be older than you, Jackie. I had a Game Boy when I was younger. Well, I do have a Game Boy, too. I mean, well, I'm 44. So, Keith, I don't know how old you are. I had a Game Boy. This this I had as a um, in my 20s when I was going to school or my first work job. We just always had toys. Um, you're welcome, Lisa. Um, I loved it. I loved the, the my Game Boy. Um, that thing lasted forever. I mean, forever. Um, it lasted... I mean, it's a simple, simpler mechanics, simpler machine all the way around, but it lasted forever. And our, my first, um, our first Nintendo was, um, well, it was the Nintendo. That was the first console. It was just the Nintendo. And then we got the Super Nintendo. And then we ended up with, we never got anything. When I met James, he already had the PS two we had the xbox and then all the versions whatever till now and then um we had the nintendo wii we had the nintendo what am i missing what did we have before the wii before the wii did we just have the ds's the ds's and then we got the wii the 2ds the 2ds the wii wii u wii u yeah wii and then wii u and then we had the switch and the switch light, yeah. <laughs> My niece wants an eight hundred dress. What an eight hundred dollar dress from for prom, Keith? What brand is that dress? <laughs> my mom would have slapped my. Oh my gosh, my prom dress was fifty bucks. 
50 bucks, and that was a 99. Of course, it was a 99, guys, but $800, my sister's progress was 300, so I can't say much. I meant I have the OG Game Boy. Yeah, I had the OG Game Boy, too. Um, the, the OG black and white, I played Tetris. It was, like, this big. Yes, I had that. I had that. Um, well, I've had a cube, and yeah, laser disc, we got all of it. What wedding dress price range? My wedding dress was a thousand. Okay. Oh, guys, I know I'm spilling the tea, and I don't know if I'm allowed to or not, but I'm going to. I'm on Cassie Thorpe's broadcast on on um, and I, and if you follow Cassie, she invites anybody who follows her. So I'm sure some of y'all are in there too. She got married. The girl got married. She had a video going out where she wasn't going to be a bride in 2024. Well, yeah, she did. She is. She did. I bet she went to the JP. Atari. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, Cassie. Cassie got married. It's so cool. Um, she's her video will be coming out today, which is now today. <laughs> I am a novice, but my Nintendo all day, all all the way. Yes, I love Nintendo. Um, Finding Sala says, Yeah, Cassie Thorpe got married. I'm pretty sure she eloped, <laughs> which I say yay, because I wish I had eloped. Um, family, the the cost of the wedding, the Dealing with family members, you never make everybody happy. The bride and groom do not remember much of the wedding, which is why you probably have to video it or film it because you're so busy saying hello to people, you have no time to talk to anybody. You're exhausted, and then you're and you're worried about the way you're looking because everybody's you're on every photo. You know, I adore her. Dare I say she has decrowned jewish oh yeah saya i'm with you with with um cassie i love her vlogs i love watching well i don't go to any of those stores so i love watching her go to the stores and then she tries on clothes and shows us like, like that's so cool and she looks really great in vivian westwood by the way i think her whole wardrobe should be vivian westwood she looked every time she wears one of their shirts i'm like that's so pretty um um, she had lofty expectations, says Finding Solace. Um, oh, yeah. I mean, weddings are ridiculously expensive. Ridiculously expensive. Um, eloping does not sound like a bad... Oh, I wish I had. Um, I'm playing PlayStation 5 now. I think James is playing his PlayStation. He's playing Final Fantasy. So, yes, he definitely is um, playing his PlayStation. She's still having a big wedding, just married, and we'll have the big wedding next year. I can believe that because you still have family obligations, but at least the marriage part. So, that's what I did. Like, I was married three times. So, we were married at the Je Justice, Justice of the Peace to legally get married. Then we went that next month to Belgium and was married in the church ceremony. But in Belgium, the church officials aren't state official officials. So we had to be married. And then we got married at the church. And then we got married again the third time in front of James's family in America. So I was married in San Antonio, in Belgium, in San Antonio. Yeah, three, three, three times, three times. It was, it was a lot. It was very expensive. My father paid for it because um, he wanted, he. it was cheaper for him to pay give me money and pay for our flights to go to Belgium than to have my mother come here. And uh, so we went to Belgium and got married there, paid for that wedding, came back here, and then dad paid for a second wedding. It was very expensive. And I did not want, and I wanted to elope. And I asked if I could elope. And they said, no. I'm like, fine. Of course, that's not the point of elopement, but I wanted my family to still talk to me. So I asked if it was okay if I would elope, and they said no. And Here's the thing, though. I'm pretty sure he offered my sister ten grand to elope <laughs> with, because I got married first. So when Jennifer got married, he was like, "Hey, I'll give you ten thousand dollars if you just go get married." <laughs> um, her mom and dad are a huge part of her life. Yeah, and she's, and I think her her mother, yes, Indonesian. Um, one wedding in Singapore, one wedding in Indonesia, one wedding in Hawaii. Wow, her friend did that. I think. Well, I think. I think Cassie's mother is from Indonesia or the Philippines. I don't know which where, but Southeast Asian. Um, and Asian weddings are just next level crazy. Um, well, Travis is my third husband. We got married in the JP. Then we got a big wedding for 10 year anniversary. I wanted to make sure it was going to last before coming out. <laughs> yes. <laughs> We got married in a oh that's so cool Jolie you got married on a hot in a hot air balloon that's so cool um 
options what the what that sounds amazing yes julie that sounds awesome yeah i wish i'd eloped um a hot air and i actually asked james like if we could elope but he's his family's super religious so and he was very much uh, a good episcopalian boy so we got married in the church you know and now we're methodist so you know whatever um we didn't have to invite anyone see that's awesome um cassie's the mom is from africa she's her mother's from africa i for sure she was southeast asian i got that wrong i think half nigerian and half russian whoa i was completely wrong about that i thought for sure her mom was from south um the philippines or indonesia nigerian and half russian that's that's a pedigree in the morning is that even politically correct to say that or is that rude i don't know let's say that again if you have a question it's then it's wrong then it's wrong yeah let's retract that statement i apologize in the morning in Kissimmee and Disney Parks. Um, oh, that's so cool. Now, I know I'm saying Kissimmee wrong, but I don't know how to say it correctly. Um, Nigerian. Huh, Nigerian. That's cool. Crazy we know all this about Lacassie. I know, right? Because we're she's been on she's been on the, the, the YouTubes forever. I just love her mom's um closet her chanel collection i tell cassie every time cassie goes to visit her mother i think sick rescue something out of your mom's closet because <laughs> her mother has this amazing chanel collection and it's just like and cassie will at least you know show that off and wears it whatever you know um cos cosimi con con simmy Kasumi, 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 not kiss, Kasumi. Okay, Kasumi. I need to remember this because I'm going to that part of the world often now. She does her homework. Her videos are fascinating. I like her videos. I like, I like, I like Cassie in general. I found Cassie honestly. I found Cassie because of Dale's addiction. Because Dale did a video way back when about Cassie being invited to. Fendi Fashion Week or something, and I'm like, who is Cassie, and what are they talking about? And that's how I found Cassie. Um, by the way, this is my 2023 wish list that I am now, or 2024 wish list that I am now throwing in the trash because I I, I already bought the top thing on that list. I don't need the other two. <laughs> so, <laughs> Carol, hey Carol. Oh, Foxy LV starting. Foxy LV starting to resell Chanel now. Wow. <laughs> Accent hard on Sim. Okay. Kasimi, 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 Kasimi. Um. Kasimi. Uh, Jolie, when we see each other this fall um you'll just have to tell me how to say it i was telling james oh by the way we have decided well i have decided not to go to universal studios because we were looking at the cost it's over 200 dollars for a one day park pass for two parks because the universal studios is actually two parks and um i'm like you know what i don't want to go and james is i don't know if he's he's been t twice already so we're not sure it's really like um you know, <laughs> um i'll leave you a voicemail right now okay okay so I didn't, uh, be right back okay so um yeah so we're gonna so i told james like i'm gonna hang out with my friends we're gonna do a florida meetup i'm gonna have jolie it's gonna be there and then angela lives there d lives there and i'm missing somebody and my friend sarah lives there they all live in the orlando region area within an hour so we're gonna go meet up and do a, a meetup and 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 i says i i, I have a yeah, i know i have a resort and i'm part of the disney properties and i'm i'm there to see disney but honestly i'm there to hang out in florida with my friends and my friends who are coming i guess will be going to the disney parks i'm only going to maybe two parks i'm, I'm just gonna be going to disney um 
uh, Magic, no. Epcot and Animal Kingdom, which is my favorite. Okay, Birkin Boy. Craig, what the heck are you typing in gibberish? <laughs> Can you see that mailbox behind you? The reddish brown bag. Oh, sure. Um, this one? That one? That reddish finding solace? Do you remember timeshares? Do you recommend timeshares? I always thought they were a scam. Well, okay, mine really isn't a timeshare, so I need to explain um, how the Disney ones work. But um, is it that one, Finding Solace? This, if it's that one, that is actually called a Sloan bag from Ralph Lauren. Um, yes, let me grab it. <laughs> so I got this off of eBay for $30. It's called a Sloan bag. I have one, I think, in my cart, which I'm probably not buying now. But um, this is a really, and it has a crossbody. Well, not cross, it has a shoulder strap, but I didn't, I put it away because it is an asymmetrical, and I hate asymmetrical attachments. So it goes, you know, from there to, to there. Um, but this is a beautiful bag. I love the shape of this bag. I like that it's a rectangle and then it tapers up like this, like a like a mailbox, you know. And it's in this epi leather. And I just did one one application of um oil to it, and it's beautiful. And it was Thirty dollars with tax and shipping. You know what's not to love, and it's called the Sloan. <clears throat> so Keith, timeshares. I think traditional timeshares, what you're talking about, can be, but in Florida, the way the DVC Disney Vacation Club works is that you actually own a part of Florida real estate, and instead of being a timeshare, it's a point system. So the point system is you can use it whenever you want, however you want. So you're not locked in by a date and time, which is what traditional time chairs used to be, which is not a good plan or motto. Um, but for us, we just we we bought there's a buy in for the real estate cost and then you pay a maintenance for which resort you belong to, which is an annual maintenance. And then we get a points systems so we get a point allotment and we can use that point allotment however we wish at any of the dvc properties and there's a bunch of sister properties and um so for us because we love disney it's really really worth it but because we can't actually afford the resorts any other way if that makes any sense, the cost of the resorts are so expensive as, as a cash nightly basis. If you just go to Disney and look up any of their resorts and say, I want to stay for two nights on these days and you're a cash client, which you can be, um, it's really expensive. But for us, because we bought into the property and we're in a maintenance plan and it's like a 20 year plan. Um, yeah. In the long run, we pay just as much, if not more, but in the short term, we get to go hang out at a cool resort that we normally wouldn't be able to pay for because it's not just like the, the DVC rooms aren't the same as their regular hotel rooms um, because the DVC rooms are more like um, condos. They have full kitchens and washer and dryer, which was what we wanted. So it's more like an Airbnb before Airbnbs. Yeah. But yeah, I mean, it's just, oh yeah, 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 yeah. We, we pay as much, if not more, in the long run and over the 30 years of lifetime. But a lot of people sell their contract. That's how we got our contract, is we got our contract from my orthopedic surgeon. She was selling her contract. So we bought her contract on the aftermarket, and then um, you can sell them. Or and if you just say you're not going to use your points that year anywhere, you can um, you can rent them out. People buy them. There's an aftermarket. There's a whole thing about it. Um, but for us, we we planned on going every year. And even in 2026, we're not going to be going. Actually, no, 2025, we will not be going to the parks. But we're banking all those points so that in 2026, we can get a larger room. Like the room we're getting right now for the week in um, September is three bedroom is the largest suite they have and it's something like 400 points so 
it's it's basically in our point allotment is like we have a contract for like 240 points per year and we're using 401 va- one stay but we're staying with them the, that three bedroom suite can hold 13 people and we are going with 13 people and no we are not charging them to stay in our hotel we're just going and having fun with our friends because when we invite people to disney it's not actually a gift like we'll let them stay with us but once they on average our friends who go with us spend two to three thousand dollars just to either get there and then with parks park passes and then cost of being just being there you know um craig you definitely need your own channel enjoyed you and winnie's love your knowledge and presentation craig is awesome he will be on our be on my channel on friday and hopefully sometime this year he'll start his own channel i was traveling and missed craig when he's live um we'll watch tonight no way i'm sleeping this is totally well no you're face down and and how was the surgery by the way how are you even typing this are you talk type to talk or talk to type or or is the surgery tomorrow enjoy enjoyed him with dd being to learned a lot yeah so yay thank you craig you can just do lives with us forever we'll fine we're fine we'll just pick your brain like so friday what we're gonna be talking about is ralph lauren and our love of ralph lauren because we need more ralph lauren so yeah so i don't know if i told you finding solace that the sloan bag is a ralph lauren bag by the way um some vision in my left eye tomorrow i hope oh so you dirty did go through the surgery yes oh no it's tomorrow dang <laughs> Yeah, I wouldn't be sleeping either. Yes, Craig, we are so looking forward to your channel. Um, Rosanna says, yeah, see, you have a fan base, built-in fan base, Craig. <laughs> Thank you, Finding Solace. Um, well, it's in seven hours. Surgery, seven hours. Ooh. Thanks, Finding Solace. You can catch the replay on my live um, section of my channel. My pug is snoring. It is ridiculous. He is so loud. It's like, I'm surprised the microphone isn't catching it. <laughs> he he heard me. He stopped snoring now. It's like, okay, little dog. How can your little body make this much sound? Um, but anyway, I've been... Whoa, guys, we've been talking for two hours and 40 minutes. It doesn't feel like two hours and 40 minutes. Uh, but I'm t- getting sleepy, so I'm probably going to start ch- wrapping this up in 20 minutes or so. We only have 29 thumbs up. Thumb up the live, folks. I don't understand why YouTube puts so much emphasis on likes or dislikes, on interaction, but they make it so difficult. Um, well, Jolie, technically I work tomorrow, but I slept all day and I cried most of the day. I don't know if I'm going to work tomorrow. James is going to work tomorrow, but 1230 is not unusual for him. Um, I don't know what his, if his meeting schedule isn't so bad, we might both stay home tomorrow. Um, it depends on his meetings. Um, I really don't want to have to go to the office and talk to everybody about Milo. As it is, my friends have already called, and I had to do a Facebook post because, well, it happened on the live when everybody learned I had to um, go to the vet. So then everybody was asking how he's doing. So then I had to explain to everybody um, that Milo had died, and it was very sudden because people just don't understand um how it can be so quick and it is really that quick sometimes and um my sister lee actually texted me when she read it on instagram i haven't even told my mom yet because my mom really liked milo too uh my my mother does not really like my pug she doesn't like pugs but she which is i think criminal like mother it's a Chinese dog. You're supposed to like you're part Chinese. You're supposed to like this dog. She doesn't like the dog. So she liked Milo. Milo is stately. I'm like, Milo's German. You know? Love how you speak your mind and your southern manners. Yeah, he's he's very polite. I told him, I told Rosanna, I told Craig, 
that if I ever offend you, it is completely unintentional. I am sometimes very oblivious because he's he is very polite. Um, finding solace as I went on Ralph Lauren rabbit hole with DD interview, then been discovering Jamie Chua. Oh, Jamie Chua is so much fun. Her videos, she has her closet. I mean, her Instagram posts. She has, um, she's been cultivating roses lately. That's been her hobby. But man, her collection of Birkins this is like, whoa. I love looking at her closet. Um, my mother doesn't like, doesn't love my Chanel. Like my love of Chanel hates me. Lost some fighting solace. Yeah, I love I love the Ralph Lauren rabbit hole. And Ralph Lauren is really underrated, guys. So the one bag I did buy today, I, I didn't plan on it, but I found it on eBay and they were selling it for $40. And I'm like, how is this $40? This bag normally, I mean, brand new right now at Macy's, this, this bag style is like $400. And I'm like, how are you selling this for $40? So I said, well, I'll just do an offer for $35. They won't accept it. They accepted it. It's a Marcy tote. The Marcy tote is um, a current. Maybe this exact tote isn't the most current, but the Marcy style tote bag is current. And I couldn't believe it. I've never seen the Marcy on sale anywhere for under $300 or $200, $200 to $300 on the resale market. So the And, and it, I think it's just that that loophole where people underrate Ralph Lauren because they think they're like, oh, well, that's the bag I see at Marshalls and TJ Maxx. It's just old Ralph, old Ralph Lauren. It's like, whatever, we don't value Ralph Lauren. I'm not going to pay a lot for it. And I'm like, that's an awesome bag. And it's leather. I just bought an all leather designer tote, barely used, for $35. I can't buy plastic tote for $35. So I found a medium-sized tote bag for $14.99. Yes, I know. Now, you do have to be careful going down the RLL rabbit hole sometimes, especially the reversible tote. Those will all be polyurethane, um, but most of them are all leather. You do have to make sure you're buying, you're looking, you know what you're buying, because Ralph Lauren does make some bags with polyurethane, but normally it's lists that way. Lurking, DD, or trolling us is Jolie. <laughs> I've been trolling and working on thumbnails. Scrolling. I think scrolling, right? Or trolling. Lurking, lurking, and working, I think. Lurking and working. Um, oh my gosh. Troll comments. I, I know. I don't know if Winnie B talked about this on I okay, I know she didn't because I was there for the live. Um, but she talked about it in one of our Facebook groups where we we're talking about trolling comments. And we're like, why are people doing that? And it was funny because she was talking about this, and then right after I read the comment. Um, Autumn Beckman released a video saying, um, myth, myth, myth about fake bags. And there's some popular myths, I can't say that word, about how to tell whether or not a designer bag is fake or not. And mostly Louis Vuitton, like the, you know, the matching of the edges or whatever, all the drama. It was a pretty good, um pretty good description of it but um it was funny because somebody had talked to uh, wrote on uh, winnie's one of winnie's um videos that all her bags were fake or something and we're like bags aren't fake why would you take the time why would you take the time to write that and why would you for what purpose what's the end goal why would you why do you troll that way why do people troll i don't i, I <laughs> I'm sure there's a very basic explanation to it that they're doing it just because they can and people are people, but at the same time, it's like, why? Whatever. Trolls come with the territory. Um, I have been pretty lucky. Um, why does Winnie B channel attract so many trolls? She, for some, okay, so Keith, she got somehow pushed over to a bunch of 
gamers and they kind of just kind of came in force for her and i and but see when he has like what nine thousand subscribers so i think she just got to the wrong audience and they just went to town i have no idea why winnie gets all the hate um who cares it brings attention to her channel <laughs> yeah it's true it does trolls do get you numbers hate watching is still watching she's gonna have to turn off her comments soon during a live yeah that's gonna be rough i've been on the interwebs too long trolls are just part of it. oh yeah trolls are I don't understand. I don't have enough time in my life to do it. I, I don't find any enjoyment in being negative like that. I don't think it's productive or useful. And I, and I, 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 so for me, I feel like it's a waste of time for people to do it. And honestly, I just delete comments. Here's the thing. What difference does it make if her backs are fake or not? You don't like the content. Don't say anything. Just move on. That's how I feel about it. And the comments I'm deleting on my channel tend to be um, brands trying to say buy my fake whatever. Or, and they do it really cleverly. I report every last one of them. And, and when you report them, they get deleted. Or they're invisible on your channel, but they're reported to YouTube, whatever. But the ones I have deleted have been... Only a couple of, uh, only a few, not, not not very many, and they were very, um, I don't mind if you attack the way I look, that's fine, you don't have to like the way I look, but you can't really attack um, the civil rights, so when people start saying things like that, it's like, delete, we don't need your hate speech, you move on, you know, um, me neither. I don't understand how people can be mean. I don't. Well, mean I get, but taking the time to do it. People who troll are insecure people who try to elevate themselves by stepping on others. Um, yeah, report them. Yep. But trolling, don't care. Don't bother trying to. Oh, you can't reason with them. You can't argue. You can't engage. People, you can't. You can't. You, that's why the best thing to do is just delete and report because there's, there's no point. There's absolutely no point to, 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 you cannot reason with the illogical. And when people are just doing hate speech or saying slanderous things that are just, there's no argument that that is a de declarative statement. And I can declaratively delete your comment. You know, I, I feel like that is my, my, my response. I've noticed that with my Instagram, since I made my page public, I get, oh my God, the fake suppliers. Oh, Craig. I every day I delete follower companies following me and you have to delete them because if you don't block and delete them they will just keep coming it's like they spawn new ones and they will oh they followed this one I'll follow them too and it's like all all the ones that are private accounts um I delete <laughs> really I delete I have so many catfishers trying because my public account trying to get me to respond to them or engage with them and they'll say oh you're so beautiful and they'll they'll like 20 different photos or whatever oh i love your content blah 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 delete block delete block delete block men women do it you know because my name's jack that's not jackie it's jack people think i'm male some people think i'm female and i get both i get catfished on both ends and i get all the fake bag suppliers instagram is a full-time job deleting and blocking if you're a public it really is. It's annoying as all heck. Daily. Daily. Three or four times a day. Um, same Craig says, DD. I used to run an IRC insult chat. <laughs> we don't have those anymore. No, nowhere for trolls to go to battle. Um, Craig says, I was, I was, but they just keep coming. I can't keep up. I know. You can't keep up. It literally, you can't keep up. I just do it constantly, like constantly daily. But Craig, your name's Birkin Boy. You're going to get every supplier ever. And they're always out of Dubai. We'll ship internationally, you know? And it's just so frustrating. It's like Instagram is like, who who, who was buying all of these fake bags? <laughs> you know, it's like somebody, because they keep, their, they, they live on Instagram. Yeah. <laughs> Hey, Craig, you should see, well, never mind. I shall keep my mouth shut. 
as soon um oh and so many fake jewelry companies oh my gosh yes it's like or you no know, for me because i post a lot of photos of my dogs i get all of these companies wanting me to um buy their dog thing oh we'll give you a free bandana if for your dog if you just share this blah 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 i'm like no no click cancel you know um or click and delete and the other one i get um on my actually on my youtube email which is really interesting because the youtube email um you have to find it in my abouts page um frozen luxury is your frozen luxury is your account public and if you don't get that on instagram you are dang lucky um but um i got derailed i don't know what to say oh on my youtube email what i get a lot of is people who want me to do reviews but not for youtube they all say, oh, I love your YouTube content, and we can, would you give us a review? But when you look at it, what they really want is an Amazon review for whatever free product they're trying to peddle to you. And it's been, like, home security devices, um, like, some type of spyware. There was one that was um, audio headphones, which actually was kind of cool. Um, some I was like, do you not see that my name is Jack's Bag Attack? Like, literally jack's bag attack i cannot be more descriptive you're trying me and, and it's, oh and i used to be polite like oh no you know this isn't gonna work for my channel now i don't even do anything because it's oh we we really don't want a review on on youtube we really just want you to review it on amazon for us so i'm like no i don't want your free headphones you know i definitely don't want your spyware <laughs> so i do you do i look like a surveillance company i do not want this um I do get the fake China bags here and there, but very far and few. You're very lucky, Saya, because we get it. I get daily. It's your name, Saya. Yours and mine aren't bag related. Yeah, that's true. That's true, Saya. Frozen Luxury is a little different. It's it's Jack's Bag Attack and Birkin Boy. Those two names. Um, I think Dee Dee Beans bags it, or is it just Dee Dee Bean? <laughs> <laughs> or you just love shopping there? um keith i did it for seven years craig speaking of the other channel in your travels is in these internet streets if you happened upon a black trendy like new condition please give me a shout out um you mean the chanel black trendy C okay carol's saying um those are pretty bags i'm not gonna lie i like those i think they're pretty um Carol, I'll keep an eye out, but you do you follow me on Instagram? NYC and Mall America and Miami. Oh wow, that's so cool. Yeah. I never shopped there, but I had to walk through the first floor to get to the elevators. I got my hair cut. I can't say his name, but I like that company, Keith. They had really good hair products. When I had, when my hair is not sheared, my hair is actually wavy. It's not curly. It's not straight. It's in between. But if I use the right products, it can be curly. Um, and it looks fantastic, but it's so much work. I'm like, no, not worth it. Not worth it. Um, yes, the Fifth Avenue store is amazing. I want to go to the Ralph Lauren Cafe. Craig was telling me about it. I'm like, I want to see that. I missed that product. <laughs> I don't know if they still make it or not. I knew I... I bought it maybe 10 years ago um gorgeous store rip henry ben oh the henry bendo mm -hmm. what oh, so that store if it's been there forever what's in there now they must have turned it into something else right it's so good jackie i love it oh you've been have you been to the ralph lauren cafe keith i want to go I saw a video on the, somebody did a video on the Thai cafe, the cafe in Thailand for Louis Vuitton. 
it, that didn't look as cool. The food looked very fussy. I don't like food that way. I like, you know, the one in Paris has an outdoor garden with New York. It's very classic Americana. That's cool. Okay, now now that I know there's one in Paris, next time I go to Paris, when, which I don't know when that will be, I'll go. Um, nope. Sitting. Oh, really? They're sitting. That real estate sitting there empty? Wow. The New York City Ralph Lauren flagship store is amazing. I want to go. I've never been to New York. James and I have talked about it. Um, I'd love to go someday, but New York scares me. I've just heard so many stories about New York, but um, I think if I went with somebody who's been there, lived there, you know, not just um, going as a know-nothing tourist, I might like it. I don't have any desire to go to the touristy things. I well, other than museums, I want to do museums, and I'd like to go see Ralph Lauren. That's what I'd like to do. I have no desire to go up towers or look at the whatever. <laughs> Jackie Kenny made Henry Bell store a national landmark. So, yeah, Saya, we need we need the Harry Bendel story. Okay. James is putting up the games. It is time to go to bed. We have been here for three hours. Um, oh, I love Ralph. My favorite house, actually, for clothes. Yeah, Ralph Lauren clothes is pretty dang awesome. What? My, this? Okay. Yeah. Craig, funny, I looked at your picture drooling, forgot to follow. <laughs> Harry Winston now. Oh, well, that's a good, if it's, I mean, Harry Winston, I'd love to see that store. Another store I might be afraid to walk into. You know, when you can't afford to buy anything in the store, do you really walk into them? I feel like, you know, there's some stores I can purchase things in. I don't think Harry Winston is one of those places I can purchase something in. You know, in Harry Winston's old space. Yeah, Keith. Yeah, Keith, because you live in New York, right? Thank you. Keep it in mind for the trendy. <laughs> I love it, Craig. I love the fact that you went on YouTube and on lives and people are like, you're real. You're not just a photo. <laughs> Good night, everybody. Yeah, I'm going to, I'm shutting this down. We've been here for three hours. I will be back on Friday for sure. Uh, Craig and I are going to go live. We'll probably do a test on Thursday. Um, and so, good night, all of my night owls. And um, this, this was fun. I never thought you'd be... This is James's DS. This is um, Transformer? Transformer case. So this is his cool one, and mine is the, the Plumeria flower. Yeah. Anyway, good night, everybody. Have a, have a good day today, since we are now Wednesday. <laughs>